But then after you eat a whole scoop of that butter, you realize that it's not ice cream. But it is good. Hey everybody, good morning, and uh, Jim Weller here, and we are live. This is a special edition. It's the Saturday edition of Weller Does Dale Marvin. Now, we weren't here. We haven't been here for a whole week, just a whole week ago. And where is here? People say, where is here? It is in Laurel Junction. We're right inside Laurel Junction at Chef Fred's Cafe, okay? And uh, they're calling for snow today. We don't know if that's like a wild, um, crazy rumor or if it's really going to happen. But I want to tell you something folks i got this uh thing of oatmeal here at chef fred's cafe and it's really really good i'm not even an oatmeal eater very much but um it's the big glob of ice cream that's really a glob of butter that really makes it taste really really good so anyway if you're an oatmeal eater check it out at chef fred's cafe mm -hmm. colin how are you i'm good good morning how are you oh i'm okay all I'm, right okay. yep Got to turn it the other way, Denise, um, with the slit up to the top. Keep All turning. Right. One more turn. There you go. And tell me when you're ready. Are you ready? She's ready, nervous ready. as can be. All, All right. right. There we go. So, anyway, Colin, World Service Center, TV mm -hmm. Del Marva, what is going on? Well, you're not going to get to the rest of that oatmeal, are you? I am not, but it's oh, pretty man. darn good. Well, you start talking, <laughs> I could eat. Oh, really? But, um, Oh, That's it's just good so TV. good. It's hot. It is good. So, yep. Chef Fred's Cafe, get down here, check out the yeah. oatmeal. Oatmeal. It's got and brown it, sugar in it. It's got a big gob of butter. Gob of butter on top. It's like a scoop, like an ice cream scoop. And it. he's got these specials, bacon mm -hmm. and cheese omelet and three buttermilk pancakes for seven ninety nine, or you could just get a Belgian waffle for three ninety nine. Right. That, that is I good. I mean, it's very good, good, yep. made-from-scratch food. So what's going on? With TV Del Marva. Well, I want to talk about if you're a business and you're looking for advertising for TV Del Marva. We've put You've had some, quite a few advertising packages. Yes, We've got they look some, good. Uh, good deals going on for people. And uh, if you want to get the word out about your business and uh, you know do it in a positive community way, we can do it at TV Del Marva for you. And your audience is just growing by the week. And, oh, it uh, is. Yeah. People are talking. There's quite a buzz about TV Del Marva. You know, in other words, yeah. all the different things. Absolutely. I, I did want to ask: Have yeah. you got this in a format that if somebody said, "Well, Colin, I don't." Don't know if I'm interested, but can you just email me a couple packages? Yeah, I can is email it, you. Is it you know, set I up prefer that to way? talk to you and explain it because okay, you know, it is you a can't little... get everything on a piece of paper. That's true. That's true. So uh, but he yeah, overwhelmed like me to... the other day. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, then, and that takes a lot to do. But it was like you get this and you get that. And right, by the way, you and, get this. And I got to remember that. You know, I, I've got to explain a little bit. Right, explain you know, it. What's going on? He but, wants to explain it, but, but people do, can call you. Keep people can call me. Call my cell three zero two two four two eight zero one five. Send me a text until nine o'clock today. Correct. Right. Uh, but after that, I'll take a phone call. Okay. Yeah. And I just chit chat with him. No high pressure. No, not at all. No. no and um, and what I explained, I just had somebody the other day say, "Well, I, you know, everybody and their brothers trying to sell me TV advertising." I mm -hmm. said, "I got it. I got it." Yeah. I said, "Well, if you talk to Colin." Colin is uh, not a um, salesperson, so to speak. He's a business owner right. that understands the value of getting a return on your investment. And so, you know, if he talks to you about advertising, there's nothing guaranteed. The only thing's guaranteed people are going to see your commercial. Right. Beyond that, we can't make them respond or not respond, but well, it's a and good bang a, a for the buck. A lot of that buck. has to do with, with the commercial, you know, with the creative, they call it. Yes. That, so a lot has yes. to do with that. And, uh you know, just just putting up a slide of your business with a voiceover, it's not very not the effective. same, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, you know, getting the business owner on that is more effective. Well, and I think you've got some uh, people coming on board that actually are going to get some of their customers involved with uh, the commercial. Yeah, I think so. And uh, we're going to uh, we're going out uh, Tuesday. We've got a shoot, I think, that we're going out on. We're oh, really? Shoot a commercial. Good. Yep, yep. So, so you're uh, helping people put the commercials together. Well, that's it. That's exactly it. You know, we want to help the advertiser. You know, the customer from to, A to Z to 
show them, you know, how to do this. Let's get this done. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of people are very unfamiliar with advertising on television. Right. And, how to and, do it. and unlike some people that sell advertising, you've been an advertiser. <laughs> yes, for sure. In other yeah, words. I've spent and lots of money over the years for advertising. And some of your business. Some of it well spent. Some of it hasn't. And so I kind of know the difference. But the hasn't is the, the ones that helped you learn how yes, to make the other exactly, ones work better. Yes. And I think yep. that's all I was saying to somebody. I was like, you know, there's, there's no harm in calling Colin. He's not going to bug you to death, but he is going to present what he has to offer. Yeah. And then, you know, let you decide from there. Exactly. Yep. So what's that number again? Give me a call. Give me a text until text 9 message. o'clock today on my cell, 302-242-8015, or call me after 9, 302 302- Two four two eight zero one five. That's the same number. Right. It's the same number yeah. for text or phone call. It is. Yeah. These and new cell phone devices. It's amazing. Cellular devices. And and you mean nine a.m. I believe. Nine a.m. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Thanks, All right, Colin. See you in a bit. All okay. right. Okay. Um, Denise, let that uh, gentleman with the fundraiser come next. Okay. Denise, we'll let them come next. We're coming back on the radio. On the radio. On the radio. We're going to do, uh, we're on the radio. Thank you, Lawrence, for making everything work. It's amazing. It was seamless. Let's roll the collage first. And then we've got somebody that has stopped by that wants to talk about a fundraiser. And um, Denise, you can also take a picture when the time comes and get their microphone and so forth. We need you right here, please. So anyway, um, I just want to let you know that this is the collage of what's going to happen today on today's show. Here we go. We got it all scheduled. This week on Weller Does Del Marva. Register of Wills candidate Greg Fuller joins us. George Tice of Weller's Utility Trailers checks in. Glenn Watson from the Patriots for Delaware talks with us. Dover Mayor Robin Christensen stops in. TV to Marva's Colin Walls of All Service Center chats. We are live from the Laurel Junction and Chef Fred's Cafe in Laurel, Delaware. And now, here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning, everybody. And we are live. We're sitting here right in Laurel Junction in Laurel, Delaware. We are live on TV, radio, Facebook. We are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I want to do a quick commercial segment. So I'll call this a sponsor segment for Dr. T, Dr. Bud, Peninsula Chiropractic Center. Now, this is a place where you get chiropractic care. They're located in Seaford. It's like a wellness center. So Dr. T owns it. Dr. Trillia is his name. He's been in business quite a long time. Not to imply he's an old man. I'm just saying he's been in business quite a while. So I want to let you know if you need chiropractic care, you give them a call. They will work you in reasonably quick. They're very accommodating, and uh, they accept most insurances, and they also accept cash. So anyway, if you want to get some chiropractic care, maybe you've been to a chiropractor, didn't quite get the results you were hoping for, or never been in your life and you're scared to death, they do a great job. I've dealt with them for years. I know many people that have, and they will get the kinks out. So whether you're having back trouble, whether you're having some trouble with your shoulder or your knee or your arm or your elbow or your wrist or whatever, they will tell you right up front. They'll say, you know, this is the type of things that chiropractic care will help or no, it's not chiropractic care that you need, okay? So anyway, it's called Peninsula Chiropractic Center. You could call them on the telephone at 302-629-4344, 629-4344 on the web. It's Peninsula Chiro, uh, what is it on the web? Dag on it, PeninsulaChiroCenter.com. And then on Facebook, very active there, constantly posting some interesting things all week long. So this is a live show. People don't realize it, but we are live. So from now until nine o'clock this morning, we do not stop. Okay. So I don't know what this is even about. We had somebody stop in. We don't normally do this, but we're going to do it today. It's picture time. Everybody needs to look this way for just a minute. This is uh, for our picture album. All right. And go ahead. If you would, you got a couple minutes and uh, tell us who you are and what this is about. My name is Angela Zanetti. I'm part of the SDSA robotics team. We were able Tell to- me what that is first. What is the S? What was it called? SDSA Robotics Team. Okay. I don't know what that is, so S- tell me. SDSA is our school, Southern Delaware School of the Arts. Okay. And where is that? Down in Selbyville. Okay. You go there? Yep. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. How are your grades? Good. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so what are they having going on? We made it to World Robotics, and we are looking for donations to help for pay for us to go. Really? Now, where is the world's robotics at? Dallas, Texas. Are you going? Yep. Wow. How many of you are going? Five. 
of us and two coaches. Really? So this is a big deal. Yep. All right. And how many other people competed for this? Like hundreds? Thousands. Thousands, really. So what did you do that caused you to win or be eligible? We can't. Well, our teacher paid, helped paid for us to go because this year only three middle school teams competed. Okay. There's like 10, so they have okay. three people go. But only okay. three middle school teams competed, so only one got to go. Really? So our coach felt sad, so paid for us to go. Wow. That's a nice coach. Yep. All right. So you hope to go or you're going? I hope. We're going. We're going. Okay. So the purpose of you being on right now is you're looking for people to help underwrite the cost or make a donation or something like that. Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me, how would they make a donation? <laughs> okay. Talk right into the mic if you would. Good morning, Jim. Yep. Um, I'm just a parent in the background helping them trying to help out where they okay. can. Um, Miss Laura Quillen is the uh, teacher at SDSA who's responsible in charge of everything. Okay. Um, donations can be made directly through the school to SDSA with a under um, a tag mine for a memo of robotics. Robotics, Or she okay. can be reached directly in regards to it. Um, they're also doing a raffle in the middle of April. Okay. So organizations can have gift certificates or other type of items that they can raffle off to generate funds or if they want to help do it actual cash donation to help it they okay. need to raise about ten thousand dollars by the beginning of may to fund this trip okay and have they got any money raised yet they've got some from the school that's okay. the sdsa and the, the pto is helping them but okay. the cost of flights and hotels and everything and with gas going up it's mm -hmm. you know transportation ubers with <clears throat> 12 people down in dallas getting back and forth Okay. They get some discount through VEX or the organization because they're going to the competitions, but you know they're still out of pocket costs. They still need be. money. All right. So this is a fundraiser. It's really you're just flat out asking for donations. Is that yes. the best way to put it? And um, so again, where do they go? Is there a Facebook page or a website or where do they learn about this? Uh, they can reach out to SDSA with Miss Laura Quillen. Uh, her email address is L Quillen. Q U I L L E N seven four zero nine at gmail dot com or she can be reached on the telephone at three zero two three five seven six nine nine seven. Okay. And how did you know to come here this morning? Um, actually we've been listening for years. Uh, we listen I listen to one oh five nine mornings and then we come Saturdays to hit the flea market and you guys are always here and we stop by and listen. Have some huh. coffee while we're waiting for the weather to change or everybody to get here for the flea markets. Okay, so are you waiting so, for it to snow? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so you can go shopping. The colder it gets, the better the bargains. Yes. Are you buying or selling? We're just buyers. Buyers, okay. All right, so anyway, this is a good event. We need to get behind it and help raise some money. What is robotics? What is that? It's it's actually Vex Robotics. It's a okay. competition that's held through all the schools. It's there's an elementary level, middle school, high school, and even a college level. Oh, and really? each level, as the students get together, and what it is is the organization puts together a challenge board, and okay. then students are based upon their grade levels are given different challenges. Like this okay. year, they have to get balls into a cup or move blocks into a different zone on the board, like cross okay. the zones. But they're also competing at the same time against another team. And so a clock, probably. And a clock. It's okay. they have a one minute. Well, depending on their, depending on their grade level, there is a autonomous time period, which is an actual program sequence that they just hit start and the robot does its own thing. Okay. And then they have an actual controlled section, which is after that. Okay. And it's who get, whoever gets the most points, and the points are accumulated over the course of the day, and then it's a you know round robin type event. Well, it sounds like it really challenges their mind. It is, and it's, it's very good for the development of the children. I agree. All right, well, one more time. How do they do something? Uh, they reach out to Miss Laura Quillen at SDSA, and her telephone number is 302 Three five seven six nine nine seven, or her email is l quillen q u i l l e n seven four zero nine at gmail dot com. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wells. Take care. See ya. Have a good day out there buying. All right. And what he's talking about is the Laurel Junction. He's a buyer, so he's uh, looking for bargains. If you've never been here, it's a good day to come when it's rainy and drizzle and a little dreary. That's when the bargains are, okay? So anyway, listen to me. Greg Fuller is going to join me here in just a couple minutes, and we're going to chit-chat with him. In the meanwhile, I'm going to talk about my accountant.
George Luff, Luff and Associates. People say, man, you talk about him every week. I do. It's a sponsor segment. So I talk about George every single week. If you need an accountant, if you filed an extension or you want to do your taxes or you need some help with it. I know a lot of people that normally used to do their own taxes that are all of a sudden going to let George do their taxes because they just feel life's gotten too complicated and they want everything just right. So if you need an accountant, whether it's for your personal stuff, whether it's for your business, whatever, I need you to look up George Luff, Luff and Associates. Their phone number is 302 422 9699. 302 422 9699. It's LuffCPAs.com on the web. And yes, they can help your business with payroll. If you have a business, whether it's a small one, you got a handful of employees, or you got a bunch of them, they can help you with your payroll with their easy payroll system. It's Luff and Associates in Milford, in Dover. Ann Rehoboth, 302-422-9699, 422-9699. So anyway, Greg Fuller, if you're here, we're ready for you, Greg. Come on down. We're going to chit-chat with him. He's a candidate for the Register of Wills. Um, also want to just brag on another one of my good friends and sponsors, which is Rick Fowler, No Nonsense Office Machines. And um been talking to Rick, and I said, how are things? And he said, man, we are busy, 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 busy. Well, that's a wonderful thing. So No Nonsense Office Machines is busy, and they are always looking for more help. So if you happen to want to uh, maybe learn how to work on electronics and things like that, or if you want to be a salesperson, or if you want to help in any way, um, I just want to let you know that No Nonsense Office Machines is always looking to add to their team. They're always looking for more good people. So it's No Nonsense Office Machines. They also sell things. People say, well, what do they sell? They sell copiers and fax machines. They sell tablets and laptops and uh, keyboards and monitors and copiers and a little bit of everything. Okay, so anyway, it's called No Nonsense Office Machines in Georgetown, two miles east of the circle. Uh, phone number 302 856 7381. Dial it in that order 856 7381. Good morning, Rick Fowler. I don't know if they're open or not on Saturdays. That's kind of, I think, his day off, but you can give him a call and see if he's there. He'll do a good job, he'll take good care of you. He's honest, he's fair. He's trustworthy, and he has good deals, new and used. Now, got to stop for a picture real quick. We're going to take a picture. Two follically challenged gentlemen are getting their picture hey, taken. The greatest life. Hey, Greg Fuller, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, Jim. Good. How are you this morning? Good. We um, got a little behind, but we are back on track. So yes, how sir. are you? Oh, just uh, enjoying life, and, and it's a great day to breathe. It's a great day to breathe, yes, and we're allowed is. to breathe. That's right, only because of him. That's right, yeah. <laughs> the breath. That's, that's yeah. right, the air that we breathe. All that's right, him. so you are running for Register of Wills. Yes, I am. Well, and I see you're out and about quite a bit. You're making yourself very available. Well, and, and that's an accurate statement, Jimmy, but as a good friend of mine just said, that's normally what I do. So right. I'm always out and about and then right. different And you're involved in this Correct. and that and so on. Yeah. So it's not like a, it, it, I'm running for office, but I'm still on the same venues and places and, and, and community events that I would support anyway right. in my everyday life, whether I'm elected or... Not elected, right. In other Correct. words, because you are technically in the people business. Yes, I am. Uh, and I you actually work your business well, services. Yeah, right? Well, I but I mean, you know, but I mean, whether it's your church, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, whether it's some organization, um, you're That's always correct. giving of your time and your talents and your gifts. That's what we're supposed to do, right? There. I think it is. You know yeah, it. but you're doing it. <laughs> so you're doing that it. That is so. what we're supposed to do. So what do you want people to know about you? You married? You got any great kids or grandkids? Well, Who's Greg Fuller? Greg Fuller is a. Uh, Army veteran, okay. a, a, a veteran of state employment for over 26 years, uh, married to my lovely wife, Queen Esther, for over 26 Jeez. years. You married up there. Yes, I you did. You did good. Uh, from Redden Forest. Is whatever. she from the Redden Forest? Yes, she is. Wow, okay. Yeah, Redden Forest. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> so, but uh, we have two young men. I, I don't say boys anymore. Okay, They're young grown. men. Got four grand, two twins just go. came a day before my birthday. Really? On January 27th, a boy and a girl. The twins were two at one time? Yes, they were. Wow, two, two at one time. And that was really something. They were supposed to come. Are they both boys or girls? or Boy and girl. Really? So I got my first granddaughter. 
No kidding. First grand, so you already know what's going to happen there with three of three mm -hmm. boys and now a girl. She's going to be spoiled. Yes, she will. And looked out for well. Yes, yeah, she'll be looked out for very well. Right. Pop well, good. Go look out for her. So, wow, how cool. But, uh, yeah, we, we stay involved. Uh, we also uh, uh, involved with, you know, the Home of the Brave. Right. Which is for homeless veterans where we house You've been involved with that for years. Yeah, over a decade. Really? Yeah, wow. Sir. So, and we do some good things there and we take care of our veterans. Uh, it's a lot, of course, there's a lot more that we could do because uh, I think we kind of fall short as, as a nation on taking care of our veterans. I right. really do. And uh, so that's one thing that I stay with. I used to be involved with a whole lot of things, Jimmy. I uh, still try to do what I can for kids when I can, but I was involved with Big Brother, Big Sisters, uh, Boys and Girls Club. You know, right. we used to yeah. do a rooftop event when yeah. Ed and, and Lynn had the Brick Hotel. You, yeah. So we've been involved in a lot of things. We, we holding on to the veterans, and we still have our involvement with the uh, FOP, okay. Lives number two. So uh, we, we trim, trim, streamline things down, kind of be pop-ups and nanas, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, that's what we're enjoying now. Well, good job. Yes. Wow. And have you used this motorhome yet? We have. We only used did a test drive. We're okay. about to break her out, but now with the gas. Well, you prices, waited for the price of gas to go up to use the motorhome. I told her. I said, I think we might be selling it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gas or diesel? It's gas. So that thing will pass everything but a gas station. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. That's why I said we might be selling it. Somebody no, sent me all just for the use buy it. it. <laughs> no, nope, just keep it and use it. Well, we, we won't. I don't know how much we're going to use it this year with the gas prices like there. I told her, I said we may go down to Virginia Beach or, mm -hmm. you know, close places because, see, the military offers a lot of um, RV facilities. And oh, really? We got the okay. Top 12. Yeah, and they're very minimal for us retirees. Okay. And you just got to get do. there. You just got to get there and pay minimal cost for the area. The one in Virginia Beach is actually where you park it. You can just walk to the beach. Actually. That's kind of cool. Oh, isn't yeah, it? and that's wow. down by Fort Story. And are the only people there veterans? Yeah, you can all. It's only the, the, the facility is only for active duty and, and, that's and retired, nice, isn't it? retired military. Wow, that's very correct. good. Yeah. So all right, that, so uh, we'll let them know. Well, at least. The primary is on September 13th. September 13th, okay. I want people to keep that in their, in their minds. September 13th, Arts just mark lines. it on your calendar. Yes, please, September 13th. And also, they can find more out about me at, at, at gregfullersenior.com. That's Greg, F-U-L-L-E-R-S-R.com. And is there a Facebook page? Facebook is, if you Google Greg, I'm it pops right up. up. Okay. It's been a long time I've been at this. <laughs> yeah. And you're everywhere. You yes, know, sir. you're like air. You're everywhere. And I appreciate so. your friendship, Jimmy. Well, and you're always giving everybody something. So we want to make sure you get a picture of this, dear. I'm giving Jimmy one of our FOP challenge oh, wow. coin lines. All right, here we go. When I take a picture with a cell phone, the first thing I do is take a picture of me. And then I turn the camera around. So anyway, <laughs> thank you. Thank You're you. You're always giving people something. Wow, well, this is very nice. That. Yeah, they are. They're real okay. nice. Wow. Well, where is Lodge 2? Uh, in Lewis. Lewis, really? Yeah. All right. We need to get the FOP on here someday. Well, we sure Just can. Just for the heck of it. See you what's know, going our on. Our secretary is uh, Steve Smick Sr. Steve Smick, I know he's that name. Friend. He's, he's a real a cranky guy. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a great guy. He is a great yes, guy. He was a retired trooper, state rep. Yeah, he is. No, Very not good. that one. That's oh, the there's kid. another one. Steve Smick. Steve H. Really? Yeah, he's my. He's been my friend for a long time. Wow. Yeah. He's a retired trooper. He's a retired trooper as well. Wow, isn't that something? Yeah, I didn't know there was two of them. Yeah. Really? That's wow. Stevie's mom. Wow. That's his mom and dad. No kidding. Yeah. They did a good job. They did a pretty they good job. They reproduced what so, they were. Very yes, good. They did. Isn't that neat? They really did. How are things at your church? Our church is alive and thriving. Um, it's up and over. We are full every service. Really? Yeah. We, um, we still have our distance in, you know, okay. spaced out some just for people to feel comfortable. But and, uh, we've been full gym since the time of the onset of the pandemic. We never stopped okay. having our services. So we just. We met the conditions, right. set the six feet distances and all of Kept that. Kept everybody safe. Install the sanitizer stations all up and down our walls of our church. but um, And we haven't had one uh, incident of well, COVID good. connected to our having service. And I would say... I, 
Lord for that. that. You praise God because yeah. people, it's amazing how when, you know, when it happened, people were kind of reluctant to get to the house of God, but yet they weren't reluctant to go to Walmart. Oh, right. It was crazy. That's yeah. all their food. Yeah. But, the but same people I want to go to heaven with. I don't even want to be around them. I know. But total strangers are just fine. They're just fine. Yeah. yeah. If that was something. That's, a, that's yeah. an anomaly, I thought. You know, yeah, people right. People want to come to church. Right. But they go to Walmart. Right. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Where is your faith, everybody? I know. Where is it? I, I tell you, we've always recited uh, as a as a canopy of protection, Psalms ninety one, and it was one that I always used when I was on missionary trips. And you know, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. Now, when I, and I used to tell folks, look, I don't just read like a recital. I don't recite that in, in that manner. It's what's in me. I trust right. God. Right. That He said. Right. That no evil shall befall thee, neither shall any plagues come nigh thy dwelling. Then no plagues right. are coming nigh this thy dwelling, house, right? Where we right. dwell, and and whatever we're walking through, he's walking right with us. He's with us. Right. He said he'd never leave you, or forsake, nor forsake you. you. Right. I agree. And it, it's truth. We could trust him with our salvation. We just yes, can't seem can. to trust him with COVID. Yeah, you yeah. got to trust him with that. If you can trust him with the fact that you're not going to go to hell, right? How can you not trust him that you won't get COVID? And if right. you get it. That he's that, going to bring you through it. Right. There's nothing that he won't bring you through yep. if you truly trust in him. I agree. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Um, Greg Fuller, good man. Who in the world would say such a thing? Oh, he's a I'm great man. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Riddle. Oh, Jack, Jack Riddle. Riddle, my buddy. <laughs> Look, it come up. Jack Riddle, Riddle. It's a riddle. <laughs> it's All right. Oh, Jack. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave you, okay? All right. Take so care. Good God, to bless see you. You again. God bless Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Jamie. All right, see ya. There he goes, Greg Fuller, good man. If you don't know him, get to know him. He will serve you well. He will serve us well. All right, we're having a good time here. I got myself uh, a challenge coin from the FOP. Hey, I want to just mention one thing real quick. We're going to do some call ins today. We're going to let you call in, but I want you to start thinking about it. We're going to ask you to call in later today. We're going to have some time. Between 8 and 8.30, we're wide open, okay? And we want you to call in between 8 and 8.30, and you're going to win some Vanderwinds gift cards. But we want you to tell us something about somebody that's been on the show or a sponsor. We want to know that you've paid attention to something. So we want you to comment uh, later on in the show. So uh, that's going to be later on today. I do want to brag on Mid-South Audio. You can learn a lot about them at mid South Audio. Dot com And they're right there in Milton, Delaware. Got a super store for anything audio, video, lighting, uh, amplification, whatever you may need. Mid-South Audio phone number 302-856-6993, 856-6993. Been a good su supporter of the show. And they have a really nice store right next to the post office in Milton. Open today, 10 to 2. Was I just hearing a lot of rain a few minutes ago? My goodness. I thought my head got wet. All right, George Tice, who works for me, is going to be joining us after 7.30. So at 7.30, we take a break from the radio. So my radio audience, I don't want you to miss anything. The show does not stop. So just switch right on over to TV Delmarva or go on Facebook and look up James Weller, and you can watch the show right there because you don't want to miss what Colin has to say. So Colin Walls is going to join me at 7.30, and then after Colin, we're going to chit-chat with George Tice uh, he's got a lot of things going on at Weller's, and he's going to tell you about it. Uh, he takes care of our shop, keeps everything straight, and does all of our maintenance and service work, you know, on customers' vehicles. Um, got a, a big announcement. Dry Zone uh, owns a business that's called, well, it's really Bill and Heather Anderson own a business, Dry Zone, and they also own Hello Garage, and Hello Garage just won a big award. We're going to tell you about that also. So stay tuned. The show is going to be live until 9 o'clock this morning, 9 o'clock this morning, and um, you can uh, share it. If you're watching on Facebook, if you would share the show, going down to the bottom and over to the left, I think you push something that says share, then you share it. You tell your friends what you're watching. We appreciate that. If you want to comment on the show, we, we love comments. If you need to send me an email, it's Jim, J-I-M, at Weller's. Dot com Jim at Wellers.com. Am I hearing the music? We're taking a break. Switch over real quick to TV Delmarva. I don't want you to miss a thing, okay? All right, here he comes. Colin Walls, El Presidente. 
Breaking news, Jim. Breaking news. It's going to rain today. It's going to rain today. Yeah, so Hunter's saying uh, we're going to have 100% four, chance. We're going to have all four seasons here in one day. So okay. uh, we're starting out this morning with uh, thunderstorms. Okay. There's thunderstorms <laughs> in the area. Next it's going to snow. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, not it's, next. It's going to snow. What's going to happen next? The next. Wind's gonna be next. The wind oh, the wind. Next. Okay. Which the is wind. our spring. You know, March okay. comes in like a lion, out like a lamb. This is okay. going to be the lion part of it. <laughs> Okay. Are you lying and about then, that? No. Okay. And then we're going to get some snow down here, just, you know, like a dusting, you know. A dusting. Maybe on the grassy surfaces. Okay. Uh, further north, though, they, they're going to have uh, measurable snow, right? An inch, one to three inches uh, up north. Really? Delaware. I'm going to go up there just to see area, it. Western, upper, uh, well, eastern. Well, I guess Pennsylvania's uh, really getting it. I've just Newcastle had somebody County, tell me Cecil that. Cecil County, Maryland. Cecil County, a drag race is closed today? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> drag race is probably okay. closed, right? Especially right now. Oh, gosh. They have all washed right. all the rubber off the track. There is no traction there now. Really? I'm sure. All right. For this rain. But, Denise, you okay? But that's uh, that's direct from the TV Delmarva Weather Center. So, And, yes, we do have our own weather. Weather or not? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's Your very, TV. very cool. So we could probably even bring it up on that computer there. If we we'll want. go ahead and bring show, it up while I eat oatmeal. Show channel 14.4 Okay. Um, as we talk. Can you bring 14.4 up on that? 14.4. Yeah, so 14.4 is uh, Delmarva WX. It's our 24-hour local weather channel. So if something's going on with weather, you just want to know what the weather is, whether it's a sunny day or a rainy day like this, it's mm -hmm. always there. There. It's always At there. At your disposal, local weather. Right. Done by local people. It is. It's all produced and sourced locally. Like we mm -hmm. we have created everything that you see locally. on here. Yeah, these the maps are. Are all you done using and, local electricity? To, we are. Yeah, okay. Delaware Electric Co-op. Del okay, all right, good enough. Just want to make sure. Is Delaware Electric Co-op. Now we do have a uh, Delmarva Power at the Tower, but Power at the Tower. The Power Tower. Tower. Okay. Power. Okay. Yes. So uh, yeah, we do have that. Um, but if you're looking to watch TV Delmarva, you can watch all five of our channels by number one. You could point your antenna towards Seaford if you have an outdoor antenna. Rescan, look for channel 14. You could go Boom. to uh, TV Del Marvel on Roku. So if you have a Roku player, a streaming media device, you can uh, search channel. for the TV Del Marva channel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and within that channel or the app, whatever you want to call it, you're going to find five of our channels there. Really? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> right. Uh, you go to TVDelmarva.com, which is what Hunter is doing right now, to TV Del Marva. Dot com okay and uh you click the watch live feeds okay and uh you can see the word live all, is up there when they're live aren't they yes some of them don't have the word live on them is that right or am i wrong uh, these should all have the word live they yeah. should okay yeah right. now it doesn't mean we're live on location somewhere it just means that that feed is live and active okay yeah okay all right so locally produced local you're using local electricity yes. local people you buy your stuff locally we sure do. Yeah. Yep. And I think they're Hunter, are we going to get this the up internet, there? The internet here oh, at, uh, oh. is not very cooperative today for some reason. Really? It hasn't been for the last few weeks. I don't know what's, what's going it's on. It's up. Here. So here's what it looks All right. like. Show us. Right here. So there it is. Those are the, and it's buffering. Uh, so oh, I see it. That's just on our <laughs> end, folks. That's not what it's going to look like on your end. So this is uh, the current conditions. It just kind of rolls through that. It gives you three minutes of our uh, local current okay. conditions. Uh, all this, all this information is sourced locally by us. So we ingest it into a server that we have at our tower at the Seaford, at Seaford, the okay. Seaford. Okay. Uh, ingest everything there. Our server processes it, creates these maps, and, and puts the proper temperatures and the proper uh, time frames, the proper rain, everything. And it, it, we even have models built into it. So. Um, it, it downloads all the data from the National Weather Service and then creates these models. Okay. That it's quite intense. Like, I'm so impressed with it every time I see it. Like, it just blows my mind that we have this and nobody else does. They're, right. they're using somebody else. Well, you've kind of created. Yeah. You yeah, know, it's all been. This is created. what you call made from scratch weather broadcasting. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, you know, we're not copying anybody else. Right. No, for sure. And, you know, We've had people say, you know, hey, where do you get your maps from? Well, we make them. Right. We make yeah. them. Oh, look <laughs> at this. <clears throat> so, yeah, here's, right. here's, this is what, you know, our backside of the server looks like when we're looking okay. at it. We've got all these things. We've, we've got so much more than this, but this is just kind of things that we can grab quickly that we have uh, on our end to, to see. Okay. So, yeah. 
All right. Well, anyway, um, what else do I need to know? Did you get that? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, hold on. Anyway, so uh, we have all kinds of messages coming in. So oh, I yeah. just want to wow. let you yeah. know. And they're important to us, okay? They are. Yeah. So, Jack, you matter to us. Jack, you All matter. Right? If it so matters to you, it matters it to matters us. It matters to us. That's right. All right. All right. So, anyway, that's it. TV Delmarva Channel 14.4. That's our weather channel. Okay. Check that out today. Today. Yep. Do it today. Right. Exactly. Thank All you. right. Thank you, Colin. All right, everybody. So, you are watching a show called Weller Does Delmarva. And uh, we're not on the radio yet, are we, Hunter? Um, so, anyway, we are sitting here in Laurel Junction. People say, where in the world are you, okay? I mean, th you can come here. Anybody's allowed. Everybody's allowed. Um, there's a restaurant inside of here. It's Chef Fred's Cafe. I got the oatmeal, and um, I really liked what of it I had time to eat. It was really good. So um, we're going to do a lot of things. Did you answer that? Okay. Caller, are you there? Yes. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay, How are you? Is this Linda? Yes. Gosh, you're going to be a millionaire by the time you come home. No, I just wanted to call and wish you a very happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. I do want you to know the show has not been the same without you today. Uh, uh, well, th thank you for that. But yeah, Denise, sure Denise is, is doing a great job. Well, she's having a rough time over there. She's having a real oh, well. rough time. Her hands are sweating, and uh, she's <laughs> taking the pictures, and she's got the camera. She's got it pretty good. Got it going on pretty oh. good. So uh, anyway, I'm she's serious. smiling now. I'm she's serious. like, so anyway, <laughs> um, are you going to be back before April? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. We'll be back in a couple days. <laughs> okay. What kind of gas mileage are you getting? We're getting 33 miles to the gallon in the car. No kidding. Who's driving? Jim. I don't okay. do Oh, you don't drive? Uh, he won't let me. I think I'm making nervous. Wise man. Oh, no, that's a great idea. <laughs> no, relax, Linda. Relax. You yeah, can play yeah, on the and, computer. And our gas seems to be a little better than yours down here. I know. You're going south. Where are you, Mississippi or something? Yeah, Mississippi. Okay. Are we supposed to tell yeah. people that you're out of town? Is that okay, or you don't really want people to know? Oh, no, it's okay because okay. we have somebody staying at the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Don't the get a big surprise. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, All right well, listen, um, enjoy enjoy your birthday. And when okay. we come back, uh, we're taking you out to lunch. Are you really? Should I wait? Or are you yeah, coming and today? We'll, and we'll pay. No kidding. All right. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. go to Chick Fil A. So that sounds like a great idea. I love anyway. that. All right. Well, tell Jim we'll, I said we'll bring, hi. All right, and would, we'll bring Denise with us, too. Okay? Oh, I would love that. That would be good. Denise oh, loves Chick-fil-A, okay. right? Okay. All right, so anyway, here okay, we go. What? I won't, be able to, I won't be able to call in later and, and give my praises for Dry Zone, so I will just do it right now. Okay, you love Dry Zone? I love Dry Zone. I love Harry Harrison, who works there and comes out and does our service every year. <laughs> wow. Well, they're good people, aren't they? They're a, they're a great company, uh, very caring, and uh, they do a great job. Very caring people. Well, good. All right, okay. Linda, you and Jim, right. be safe, and we'll see you next Saturday, hopefully. Uh, you definitely will. You can't get rid of me. All right. Well, we don't want to. We need uh, you. All right. Okay. Tell everybody else I said hi, and we'll see you later. All right. See you, Linda. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. We're going to take a picture real quick, me and George. Thank you very much. George Tice, he's been with me for years now. How long have you been with me? Just three, over, Just over five years. Five years. Yes, sir. You're eligible for three weeks vacation. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't take them all at once, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. George keeps everything going in the shop, keeps everything unloaded, keeps the place looking good. I try my best. You do great. Well, I get. You. I want to tell you, your biggest cheerleader is Chuck. He's like, I, and Chuck, now that's quite a compliment. Yes, Chuck's been in business himself for 36 years. Yes, sir. And he says, man, you got a good man there in George. And uh, he's constantly telling me about you did this or you did that or you had this idea, you know. And uh, he just likes being around you and likes working with you. So Glad I appreciate it. Yeah, he does. So um, envision Chuck a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's been going on in the shop? Anything of interest? Um. 
we've been doing a lot of repacks and uh, wheel bearings, wheel bearings, uh, getting trailers ready for landscaping season. Yeah, contractors, landscapers yes, is and and people tend to not think about repacking their wheel bearings, don't not they? Not until it's too late. Right, and so when it's too late, the thing's called a spindle, yes, right? Sir. And it scars the spindle. It does. And you might be able to sand it, and you might have to replace the axle. Sometimes it is reshapable. Okay. Um, it, but most of the time, it is a complete axle replacement. Now, when you repack wheel bearings, some people just take a grease gun and squirt grease in the end of the hub. That's not what you're talking no, about. No, sir, not at all. We okay. disassemble the whole wheel assembly. Okay. Uh, bearings and all. Okay. We wash it in a mild detergent. Get all the okay. old grease out. All right. So you're um, cleaning the bearings. Yes, sir. We inspect okay. the bearings uh, for any pitting, uh, loose okay. uh, bearing cage. Right. Because it's a two-part two bearing. Okay. Um, right. So if it had a lot of wobble to it, it's getting ready to come apart. Yes. yes. Okay. And we, we go ahead and replace that. Um, we air dry them. Okay. And then repack them by hand. Okay. And then replace everything and... Get you rolling. So it's a real old school way of doing things. You really yes, take it apart. You touch it. You look at it with right. your own eyes, right. you know, and you make sure it's right. Um, that squirting grease in the end is just like uh, putting a Band-Aid on something you can't even see. Right. That's, <clears throat> excuse me. That's more of a, a customer level maintenance. Right. Not right. deep maintenance. Right. That's owner right. maintenance. That's not shop maintenance. And so if you use your trailer very little. Is it something we would do once a year? I would suggest once a year. Okay. And if you use it a lot, it really is based on, based on how much you use. Yes, sir. Well, I guess if you're using your trailer every day, you should do it maybe once or, or twice or three times a year. I would say you know, four to six months. Okay. You know. All right. So we have a lot of parts in stock. Yes, sir. If not, we get them pretty quick. Yes, sir. Um, what else you been doing in the shop? You do um, a little fabricating. A little fabricating, a little bit of welding. Okay. Like we could put fenders on. Yes, sir. Okay. And um, we could replace a coupler. Yes, sir. We up sure on can. the front. Um, sometimes people forget to crank their jack up. And we replace many jacks. That is something people just don't do, do they? No. Or we got to crank it up some. They'll only leave it, they'll jack it up a couple inches yeah. off the ground. Yeah. And if you just happen to go over a speed bump, it might make it and it right. might not. Right. I agree. It's a mess. And even if you go from one side of a road to the other, the road, if it's crowned, can crowned mess you up. up. Yes, yeah. All right. So, and we have Jackson stock. Yes, sir. We, should, we do. And um, so what if a guy has one of a, a jack and he wants a little heavier duty jack? Can we kind of retrofit the trailer to fit the we, jack? We can pretty much do anything a customer asks as within safety standards. Right, right. Right. Yes, I agree with you there. All right. So how busy are we? I mean, can we do something in the next week or two? Or are we way behind? Uh, or? I believe we're about two to three weeks out. Okay. All right. Maybe two. Okay. Um, but most important is, like, get it there. Right. Because you might get done with one job early, and then you can move on to another exactly. job. I can just slide it right in the shop and get it done. Okay. We're open Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5. Yes, sir. And then Saturdays is, I forgot, 8 to 2? 8 to 2. 8 to 2. So, going to be a wet day. Yes, it is. Going to be a wet day. Probably going to be a busy day. Yes, sir. Uh, it tends to get very busy at Wellers on rainy days, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It, it does. Because most of your contractors are not working and they're right. coming in. They're coming in. So, um, we've been getting lots of trailers unexpectedly. Yes, um, sir. I noticed you've got stacks of trailers out there. I, I do. I and, do. Um, um, and once we get some room, we'll get them take down. Take them down. And, but you lift them right off by the stack. Yes, sir. So it's quite an art form the way you as do that. As many as I can. Okay. Safely at one time. Yeah. And every load's different. Every load is different. Depends on how the manufacturer loads it and ships it. Right. Right. All right, George. Um, tell us, what is it like working with Chuck? He's working, not listening right now. So. <laughs> working with Chuck is excellent. He brings a lot of knowledge uh, yeah. with him from his business. Um, and he's kind of my go-to guy. If I don't know something... Okay. I go to Chuck and, you know. Has he been able to answer questions? That, yes, he has. For lot, real. A lot of questions. Because he tells me he's a very smart man. <laughs> so I just, he I need a, you to verify a, that. He's a very smart man. Very okay. knowledgeable about and trailers. He's like and, a big teddy bear. Yes, he is. Yeah, very friendly. Well, we got a good group, don't we? Yes, we do. You know what tomorrow is? Uh, not too sure other than Sunday. It's Ernest's birthday. Is it? Ernest is having a birthday tomorrow. So I want to say happy birthday 
to Ernest. I'll have to tell him when I get there. Yep. And Ernest is our lot man. In other words, he uh, puts trailers together and he hooks them up when a customer buys them. Maybe does a little grass cutting or weed whacking and just... Hasn't he been a real breath of fresh air? Yes, and he's <clears throat> excuse me, he's been very busy. Yeah, for the past couple months. Yes, he has because we have been getting inventory like crazy. Yes. Um, I do want you to know it's going to level off here real soon. We've run out of money. In other <laughs> words, you know, we got too many trailers. But no, we ordered a lot of trailers on purpose, right. Right. and we wanted to get them in before we get real busy, which is March, April, May, and June. Yes, so we've got them. All right, anything else going on? Um, Nothing I can think of, but by the way, happy birthday. Well, thank you. Do I look as old as I am? No, not at all. <laughs> I grew right through my hair, and that was at an early age. So um, I want to give you a couple gift cards for you for Vanderwinds. Do you even eat ice cream? I do. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple for you, but I need you to do me a favor. Yes, sir. Would you please give these to Ernest I sure will. for me and just tell him happy birthday because I, I won't see him um, today. So, um other than that, have you got any of our Weller's keychains? I do. Okay, you need any more? No, sir. We only got about 4,000 of them to go. <laughs> well, George, thanks a lot. Yes, I appreciate sir. you working with us and uh, appreciate your friendship. And it's just, I find it just so nice to be able to wake up and say, I've got a good team. We don't have any help on positions. Right. We're doing business. We're taking care of our customers. We're like a little family and we just yep. keep chucking along. Yeah, it's good. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Have a good weekend, you okay? Thank you. All right, there he goes, George. Um, very good man to be around, very good man to deal with and know, and I love having him on my team. All right, what else is going on? We're sitting here. We're inside the Laurel Junction. It is my birthday. I have had a lot of birthday wishes, so thank you, everybody. Linda Bosco called in. Could you hear her? She is real worried we're not going to need her when she comes back. So <laughs> Denise is for sure going to assure she's got a job, right? All right. So anyway, Denise has been doing good today. She's been pulling double duty, running the timer, lining up the guests, and taking pictures. Is that right? All right. Today's a big day. So today I want to brag on Dry Zone. Okay. First of all, um, Dry Zone is a sponsor of the show, been sponsoring the show for years. And it's owned by Bill and Heather Anderson. A lot of people know them. They're from the Milton you know, lower Delaware community, good, good husband and wife team. And they're very passionate about what they do. But, um, you know, Heather is, uh, one of those, uh, business women that, you know, is very passionate about having good people, taking care of her people and, uh, doing a good job for their customers. And they have a division that they have opened called hello garage. And if I'm reading this correctly, they were in 2021 honored to be one of the top 10 franchises in the United States of America. So congratulations to um, Hello Garage for that accomplishment. Um, I believe they might have been number eight. I'm not 100% sure, but um, they do a good job. So if and, and so you're saying, what in the world's Hello Garage? I haven't heard you talk about that a lot. Hello Garage does your garage, okay? It's kind of a cool thing. They could go in there and first of all, they could completely transform your floor. Okay, so if you got a garage floor that's got some oil spots or oil stains or some tire marks or a big old crack in it or whatever, in other words, they don't take it up, they put a coating on it. Okay, and uh, they did my showroom floor and we just absolutely love it. Many different colors. Um, they can get very creative with it. They also uh, do other things. I think they install some cabinetry and different things. So they can literally transform your garage because a lot of people, you know, spend a lot of time in their garage and it's uh, the thing when you leave the garage door open, you want it to look good in the neighborhood. So it's called Hello Garage. But then they also have Dry Zone. Dry Zone does crawl space encapsulation. They do, uh, you know, a poly level where they can level and straighten up concrete that's crooked. Okay. So if you're getting ready to open your pool and you need some of that, you want to talk to them soon and get on the schedule. Uh, they also do, um, if you got a leaky basement, it's pouring rain today, you got a leaky basement, they got some solutions. So it's called Dry Zone. So you can learn a lot about them at dryzone.com. They're located on Route 16 in Allendale, Big Red Barn, if you want to stop by Monday through Friday and say hi. And they're always looking to add more people. Even when they don't need to, they're always growing. So they are always looking for more people to add to Team Dry Zone. So if you're looking for a full-time job that, whether it's raining or not raining, works you 52 weeks a year, check out dryzone.com. Phone number 302 684 Five zero three four six eight four fifty thirty four dryzone.com and hello garage so check them out good people thank you bill heather for your support of the show now what else is going on 
Diane stopped by this morning. Diane is the lady that kind of keeps everything straight here at Laurel Junction, and that's where we're at. And it is raining right now, so if you wanted a bargain, go on outside right now and talk to the vendors that are out there. They want to sell stuff and go home. So uh, this would be the day to come and uh, browse around. Now, Laurel Junction also has stores inside. So in other words, you know, there's a lot to see here and, and it changes a lot. There's different, you know, different products coming in. Somebody got a deal on a truckload of this or, uh, you know, a pallet of that. And so I find it a very interesting place to shop. So you could come here anytime today. They're going to be open all day. Uh, and there are vendors outside under a roof and there are vendors outside that brought their own roof. So anyway, there's lots of things here right down to produce or sneakers or tools or antiques. There's a many, a many a different people. If you own some stuff and you just want to clean out your garage, you give Diane a call and she'll rent you a table for a day for 20 bucks. A lot better than having a yard sale. They bring thousands of people here for you and you only pay 20 bucks and you get four tables for one day for $20. Okay. So Give, Di give Diane a call. That's right. Everything for one money. 302. You ready? It's 302. That gets you in the hood. 302-841-5864. I need you to just call her and say good morning, okay? I'm trying my best to uh, get her to know that people are listening to this show. 302-841-5864. Her name is Diane. And if you want a good place to eat seven days a week, Chef Fred's Cafe they got this breakfast special. You can get a Belgium waffle for $3.99. $3.99. All right, L&W Insurance Agency, another good sponsor of the show, supporter of the show. Bill Strickland's a good friend of mine. He owns and operates L&W Insurance. And if you need insurance, whether you need car insurance or maybe you're getting ready to buy a boat or you just want some liability insurance or you need renter's insurance or you know you want media insurance or whatever kind of insurance, they sell it all, okay? And you don't have to be a business. You can be an individual. You can be a renter. You can be just, I just bought my first car and I want to be adequately insured. So good prices is important. So they're as competitive as anybody, okay? But everybody gets hung up on price and doesn't realize what they sacrifice until they have a claim. And then they find out, oh my gosh, that wasn't covered. If you have insurance, L&W will gladly review your policy and give you recommendations. If you want to deal with them, it's fine. If you want to just go back to your insurance agent and tell them the recommendations, you can do that. So if you need an insurance company that's going to take good care of you, when you have a claim, they're going to get involved. It's a local company, and it's called LNW Insurance. They're on the web. They're very active on Facebook, too. On the web, it's lwinsurance.com. But on Facebook, it's LNW Insurance. Very active there. They have little... Um, they have people come on and they'll do a little two-minute thing and tell you about this or tell you about that. I like dealing with them. Now, have we got time? Is it time? We got a couple minutes. If you want to call right now and just tell me something about either one of my guests or an advertiser, I'll give you three gift cards to Vanderwins if you do that. But you got to tell me something you know, that you've heard in an advertisement. I want to know that you're paying attention. So the phone number is 302-422-7336. That's 422-7336. You get three gift cards to Vanderwins for free. You got to pick them up at Wellers in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday. But you win them today and pick them up next week, and then you can go to Vanderwins. Vanderwins out on 404 is open all year. Vanderwins in Greenwood is now opened up, and I believe Dewey Beach and Fenwick Island are opening very, very, very soon. Let me see what my notes say. April through October will be Dewey and Fenwick, okay? But right now you got Greenwood on the weekends, and um, you've got out on 404 all the time. Caller, are you there? Yeah, Jim, I'm here. And who am I talking to? You're talking to Linda's Butter Half. Is this Jim Bosco? Yes, it is. Is it the just, the Jim Bosco? The one and only. Linda's chauffeur. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All I, right. I just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and uh, I want to uh, brag on one of your uh, sponsors. Okay. And it would be Wall. It would be Colin Wall Service Center. Oh, no, um, we can't talk about Colin in front of Colin. No. no. Uh, what did you have done there? 
Uh, well, I had a battery check a couple of years ago. I, I said it once before, and um, uh, he stopped everything he was doing to check my battery. We were getting ready to go on a trip. Okay. And um, the girl up front said, well, I don't know if we can do it because uh, we're kind of busy in the shop. And I said, that, well, that's fine. And Colin dropped everything to do it. Wow. And that's the type of that's the type of business that they do. They're uh, they're very uh, uh, good at what they do, and they'll accommodate you. Wow. Well, thank you for those kind words. Now, does that qualify you for three Vanderwins gift cards? Is that what the bottom line is here? <laughs> no, you can hold them and give them to somebody that really needs them right now. Down in Mississippi, it's kind of hard to uh, get Use back them. up there. Oh, yeah, you got it. right, all right. All right, well, you take care, okay? Okay, and you have a happy birthday. Thank you, Jim. See ya. Bye-bye. Right. Right. Bye. 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 Jim and Linda Bosco, they're usually here every week. It's not the same without them. It's a much um, quieter environment. Jim's always walking around talking to everybody. No, I'm just messing. Jim and Linda add a lot to the show. All right, so anyway, if you want three gift cards to Vanderwins, we need you to call in. What's the matter? Oh, Colin's leaving. All right, he's out of here. All right, so Colin's leaving. No more accolades about Wall Service Center. Colin can't take it. No, I'm just messing. All right, so anyway, listen, if you want to comment on any of the advertisers, tell me something you've heard or seen. I just want to know, are people paying attention? I'll give you three gift cards to Vanderwins, okay? All right, now, let's talk about Vanderwins. If you want ice cream, this is the place to go, okay? A quart, a cone, a pint, or a cup. And they got them beautiful, tasty waffle cones. Have you ever had one of them? Anybody ever had a waffle cone at Vanderwind's? Caller, are you there? Good morning, Jim. Happy 39th birthday. Hey, and who is this? Is this Snooky? This is his son. Emery. Yep. How's Emery doing? He's doing good. Good. And, uh... What can you tell me about somebody you've watched or heard on this show? Um, you've got some good sponsors on that show. I've had good dealings with Kevin Short with Mid-South and with uh, Rick Fowler with No Nonsense. Okay. And uh, with Wellers, I've had good service with them. And Wow. That's wonderful. And <laughs> with Colin, you know. So, Attitude is 90% of it, Jim. Attitude determines your altitude. That's right. No question. So, yep. um, what are you doing today? Uh, sitting back here watching you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you got up early today for me. Yeah. All right. Well, do you want me to put you down for these Vanderwinds gift cards? No, nah, give them to some deserving kid. All right, I'll do that. All right, well, I'm going to leave you, young man, okay? That sounds good to me, buddy. You have a fun day, and enjoy your birthday. Thanks a lot. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's Emery West from Milton, Delaware. Everybody kind of knows him. Good all-around guy. All right, so if you want to call in and make a comment on some of our, and it doesn't have to be an advertiser. It could just be somebody that I've had on with a non-profit or a non-profitable, non-profit or whatever. But anyway, um, we're just looking for some commentary is what we're looking for, and it qualifies you for three Vanderwins gift cards. So anyway, Vanderwins, appreciate them. Good people. Been around a long time. If you love ice cream, you like ice cream, everybody does. Go get some, and you can get a quarter of a pint and take it home with you. Blue End Fuel was another uh, good sponsor of the show. You hear me talk about them every week. I uh, got this crazy special with Blue Hen Fuel. So um, what it is is you take your gas tank for your gas grill to Blue Hen Fuel in Lincoln, and they'll fill it for you for 6 bucks. Now, not a great big tank. It's got to be a 20-pound tank for your gas grill. So whether yours is full or half full or a third full, for 6 bucks you can fill it up. Right now, you got to mention that you heard it on Jim Weller, Weller Does Del Marva, and that offer ends the end of March 2022. So uh, don't snooze on that offer. Take advantage of it, 6 bucks. But if you need propane, if you need diesel fuel, if you need heating oil, you know, they've got it all, okay? And I know a lot of businesses um, are really being hit with these higher fuel prices. And some people I know, I just talked to some people this week that were pondering buying a tank and a pump on their own, just buying a tank above the ground and a pump and then going and getting Blue Hen Fuel to sell them their gasoline because I'm buying gasoline from them 
and uh, I got like a thousand gallon tank, and I save money by buying it in bulk like that. So anyway, if you want to consider that, I also do the same thing with diesel fuel for our compact tractors and our forklifts. So anyway, um, whether you're a contractor or a business or just a homeowner that says I want to I want to get gas as cheap as I can, I want to get it like that. Blue End Fuel is a small locally owned and operated company. They're small enough to know you. You know, they know your name. You're not just an account number to you, to them, but they're also big enough to serve you. So if you have any questions about what they offer, they're in Lincoln. Their phone number is 302-424-4328. That's 424-4328. It's 424-HEAT. And it's bluehenfuel.com on the web, and they're also on Facebook. So if you need any of what they offer, check them out. Commercial, residential, agricultural. You know, they offer sales and service to their customers. Great local company, been in business over 40 years, Blue Hen Fuel. <clears throat> All right, I hear the music. I think it's the music. Radio station's getting ready to take a break. So if you're listening on the radio, switch over to TV Del Marva or uh, Weller Does Del Marva on the Facebook, the Facebook, the Facebook. All right. Um, I don't know. Are you going to join me, Hunter? Oh, this is going to be cool. We're going to get to talk with Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Man, I can hear the rain. It is coming down out there. So anyway, um, oh, look at that food. Jonathan is getting ready to have breakfast. Can't wait for that. All right. Hunter, we're going to take a picture real quick. Thank you, Denise. Denise is really doing a great job today. Oh, yeah, she is. She is. And so, um, Hunter, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. Doing good. Busy, busy morning. So tell us about the weather. It's obviously going to rain because it's yeah. raining. All right, what's next? Well, we're going to basically experience the four seasons today alone. <laughs> wow, okay. So we've already had season one, which is the heavy rain and right. some thunderstorms. Season two is getting ready to happen now. We're starting to see a little bit of some colder air, mm -hmm. and, it's, and the winds are going to pick up. Okay. And then early this afternoon, it's going to change over to snow. <laughs> wow, I can't believe all this. Just for my birthday, you know. Oh, yes. So, all right, and so you've been involved with weather since you were just a kid almost in other oh, words yes. you know you long, love it you're time. passionate about it and you've teamed up with colin you're working with tv del marva and um you're really making a difference you know and people i i, I talk to people and they say i love his weather reports i love his weather <laughs> predictions you know and um so what separates uh tv del marva from the, the rest of the crowd well, because I go into a lot of in-depth analysis, I'm here 24-7. I'm actually very, very bold at what I do. I don't like to try and be like, oh, well, if I see something that's threatening, I don't want to just throw it on the back burner. I want to let you know that, hey, this is what I'm looking out for. Just be aware of it. Right. I remember the day there was, a, was it a tornado touchdown mm -hmm. outside of Milford? Yes. Towards Slaughter Beach? Yep. And I remember you said, I was watching, you said, I see debris moving. I'm like, I didn't see any debris mm -hmm. moving. And daggone, I mean, you were right on. I mean, you gave everybody, you know, that was like a good public safety announcement. Oh, I mean, yes. you were like saying, be careful. It is real. It is happening right now, real time. Yep, just like uh, last year when we had the red nips and Ida move through and we had tornadoes galore. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on the the Maryland Western Shore, which most people don't realize, like, I don't do just weather here, just like Sussex County, you know, Kent County. I actually do it all the way over towards Washington, D.C. and Frederick, Maryland as well. So because I have a lot of people that work over that way and travel across, so they want to know what they're like, what's going what on, what they're with driving family, into, what they're driving into. Right. That's a good and point. People ask me all the time. He says, why is your page called Delmarva WX when it's not just Delmarva? I'm like, well, we have a lot of people. Well, Del Delmarva is an acronym for Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. Right. So it's right. still included. It's the difference of calling the Delmarva or the Delmarva Peninsula aspect. Right. Very good. Well, I've been really um, proud to watch you and see all this develop and, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of good comments on you, and I just want to encourage people to check it out. Now, they can see it on TV Del Marva. Mm -hmm. um, is there other platforms they can see this on? You can see it on TV Del Marva, or if you have a Roku, we have an app on there too, Del Marva WX. You can find okay. it through TV Del Marva. You can also find, find us on Facebook at TV Del Marva or at Del Marva WX as well. Wow. We're also on Twitter, Instagram. Everywhere. Things, everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere that so, you can get a warning from. <laughs> right, everywhere. Yeah, right. Good thinking. So, um, and you're not just trying to rehash what other people tell you. You are determining these things based on your own, 
you know, knowledge and experience and ability to assess the situation. You're correct. And I think out of anyone in this area, I have the most in-home experience for forecasting for Delmarva. Well, well, and it shows. It shows in your... I've been forecasting in this area for over 15 years. Right. And it's not just a job to you because before it was a job, you still were doing it. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You know, so it's a passion. On top of doing a full-time, six-day-a-week job. Right. Yeah. So you're doing good. All right. I want to ask you a question. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about all this that we do on Saturday mornings? This uh, It's great. It's you ever wonderful. seen anything like it? I mean, in other words? No, not really. No. Okay. Not in this all aspect, right. at least. All right. <laughs> well, we appreciate you. You know, you work over there. A lot of people don't. I'm pointing over there. Over there is the <laughs> other side of the room, what, mm-hmm. 10, 12 feet away from me. There's a lot of electronic equipment. There's cameras. There's uh, phones. There's computers and monitors. And, uh, there's a lot of stuff. Right, because we connect to the radio station we unconnect from the radio station we're on tv delmarva we're on facebook mm-hmm. youtube it's just we're kind of really trying to get out there to everybody you know and oh, yes. uh, i appreciate your help with that all right what'd you order for breakfast i got a uh, scrambled eggs and scrapple scrambled eggs and scrapple okay all right well i'm gonna let you go and enjoy right. your breakfast okay thank, thank you. you you're gonna be back again yes okay hunter will be back again at about 8.30-ish, 8.30-ish. So anyway, we're going to come back on the radio in a minute or two, but um, I'm going to leave the phone lines open, open, open. Um, we are here at Chef Fred's Cafe. I mentioned the specials a couple times, but one of them is a Belgian waffle for three ninety nine, and the other one is a bacon and cheese omelet with three, one, two, three buttermilk pancakes for seven ninety nine. We prepping for the radio. Prepping, prepping, prepping. We're prepping for the radio. What was that now? Hold on just a second. I'm not 100% sure. Hold on. Let me turn this down. Go ahead. One more time. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Denise was trying to tell me something, and I had these things up too loud, so I'm sorry, Denise. All right. What else is going on? Slide me a note next time. We're going to get you a notepad, okay? <clears throat> All right, now it's 8 o'clock. we got a lot of time on our hands here today. I do want to say a couple birthday greetings. First of all, Denny Carroll. Dennis Carroll. Denny Carroll. I want to say happy birthday to you, young man. And I want to say this is the guy that taught me about streaming. I had no idea what it was. He played a big impact in a lot of what I got going on. There's another guy celebrating a birthday named Jerry Rhetoric. Okay? And he's on Facebook. And if you don't know Jerry Rhetoric, Please friend request Jerry Rhetoric, okay? Because that is my birth name. So we have created a Facebook page for Jerry Rhetoric, all right? I was adopted by the Wellers, and my name was changed to James Weller, but um, my birth name was Jerry Rhetoric. So we've uh, locked down that Facebook page, too. All right, Terry Betts Carey. A lot of people know her. Uh, She's from Milton, so happy birthday. And another friend of mine, Tom Peyton. So, Tom Peyton, if you know any of these people, wish them happy birthday, okay? Um, We're going to be doing the call-in thing here a little bit more where you can call in. Tell me a little bit about one of my advertisers or something you've seen or heard on the show. you got to contribute to the show. And I'm going to give you three gift cards to Vanderwins. One, two, three. Three gift cards to Vanderwins. Denise, did you say Mike Mercer's here? The Mike Mercer, like the guy that's the owner and the brains behind this operation. You know, the guy that would call for rain on Saturday. That Mike Mercer? No. All right. Anyway, that's Hunter's job. Is he busy? He just left. No, don't worry about it. He probably heard me talking about him. All right. What is next, everybody? We're going to open the phone lines here. So if you want to call in, you're going to win three gift cards to Vanderwins. Okay. But you got to comment. you got to just tell us something about the show, okay? Preferably something you like or something you learned. But today is a big day. It's the day, later tonight, you need to turn your clocks ahead, okay? Turn your clocks ahead one hour. One hour, everybody, all right? So it's going to be nice and early when you get up in the morning. Sunlight will be out or snowfall. Who knows what it'll be? But anyway... um. And I want to just remind you of that. And Wilson's Auction, man, this is a good sponsor of the show. Has been for years. Dave Wilson and everybody at Wilson's Auction. Today, they're having a lot going on. So first of all, first of all, online, 
online. They've got a couple refrigerated 53-foot tractor trailer bodies, you know, for sale. I mean, you could buy them and use them. I think they're roadworthy. So that's online, wilsonsauction.com. Then today on Route 113 in Lincoln, this would be a great day to go to the auction. They got stuff outside. They got stuff inside. It's going to go all day and into the evening. So that's today. I mean, we're talking all kinds of things going to be sold to the highest bidder. Tuesday nights, they have auto auctions. And this Tuesday night, the 15th, March 15th, they've got not only do they have automobiles, they got two dealer tags going to be sold, okay? Low-digit dealer tags, D849 and D955, okay? So if you're a dealer and you want to buy a low-digit dealer tag, this Tuesday night at Wilson's Auction will be good. And then next week on the 19th, up at the Harrington Fairgrounds, okay? The Delaware State Fairgrounds, starting at 9 a.m. next Saturday, is their Mid-Atlantic Spring Equipment Auction. And you can go to wilsons.com. You can look at pictures of stuff that's going to be sold today in Lincoln. You can look at pictures of stuff that's going to be sold at this Mid-Atlantic Spring Equipment Auction. And you can consign things. If you got something you want to sell, piece of equipment, some tools, who knows what, you could take it up to Harrington to the Delaware State Fairgrounds starting today and I believe every day next week and uh, consign items. So it starts today through next Thursday. You can consign items for sale at the auction up there in Harrington. So if you want to learn about this, you got to go to Wilson's website. It's wilsonsauction.com and then click on upcoming auctions and you can learn about where they are, when they are. There's another one coming up in Felton on the 26th. Um, they're going to have a combine and some tillage equipment and loader and farm equipment. Wilson's auction is just on the move, okay? They are rolling. So they got Saturdays in Lincoln. They got Tuesday nights auto auction in Lincoln. Then they've got next Saturday at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. Then they've got the next Saturday up in Felton along with Lincoln is also still going on. So if you got any questions, if I've thoroughly confused you, just go to wilsonsauction.com. And click on where it says Upcoming Auctions, and you will see what's going on, okay? You want to call them on the telephone? It's 302-422-3454. All right, we are ready for phone calls. If you want three gift cards to Vanderwins, all you got to do is call in and just tell me something you learned or enjoyed from watching this show, okay? It's that simple, 302 422 7336. Whether you're watching on TV, radio, Facebook, YouTube, I need you to call me, okay? And you're going to just give me a little bit of info of something you learned or watched or saw, and uh, you will win three gift cards to Vanderwins. You pick them up at Wellers in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday, all right? Josh McNeil is another gentleman who has been sponsoring the show. This is McNeil's Paving. You hear me talk about him a lot. I know a lot of people that have dealt with him, heard about him on the show, and dealt with him. Got blacktop work done, got some seal coating done, had some cracks filled, or maybe just had a driveway. You know, you take a day like today, it's all rainy and everything. Maybe you got a dirt driveway, and you want to put some stone down. You want somebody to put it down and then roll it and compact it real nice and neat, or blacktop millings, or, you know, uh, crushed concrete. He can do that. Or if you say, nope, I want it all, I want a new black top driveway he can do that for you whether it's new construction whether you've owned your home forever maybe you've got a driveway that just really is needing some repair or maintenance he can help you out if you got a blacktop driveway maybe you got a bad spot in it or something like that or tree roots have grown up and you need that all dug out and patched up he can do that too plus like i say he does the seal coating so whatever you need he's honest he's fair He's very affordable. I've been very happy with his pricing. I've done half a dozen jobs with him, maybe a dozen jobs. I've dealt with him quite a few times and been very pleased. So anyway, I'm just letting you know, it's Josh McNeil, McNeil's Paving. The phone number is 302-945-7131, 945-7131. Give him a call. Tell him I sent you. Was that a phone call? Caller, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. This rain, man. This rain's got me held up a little bit, but that's that's good. But, uh, yeah, I learn something all the time listening to you. But uh, if, if you're going to give away some tickets, I'll just give you. You want to do the same thing Emory done. I'll listen to Emory Hill there. Okay. Oh, we just got lightning right now. It's lightning and thundering. <laughs> Where are you at? Whereabouts? 
Dagsboro. Dagsboro. Wow. Well, anyway, yeah. so you do. Yeah, I, learned, I learned something. I didn't know. You said you were going to give some tickets away, but just give yeah. them to somebody else. And I well, learned thank something. You. That you, I, I didn't know you was adopted. You said you were adopted. Yep. When I was just a little yeah. boy. And all righty then, well, uh, Keith yep. Brazier from Dags for us. So you, well, Keith, you get them tickets to somebody that really needs them, okay? All right. And Keith, you be safe and thanks for watching the show or listening. All right. All right. See you, bud. See you. Bye. That was very nice. So we got people winning the tickets and saying, hey, please give them to somebody else. That's very nice. Well, that's what Sussex County is all about giving back and taking care of one another. So, with that said, with that said, I just want to let you know if you want to win three gift cards to Vanderwins, you just need to call in and kind of comment on the show, something you've learned. He did not know I was adopted. So um, it's kind of a cool little story, and um, that's that. All right, did I see Guada here? I'm looking for Guada and maybe Brad if they want to come and have a word with me real quick. I have some news for Guada that she needs to know, something that she's never heard before. I'm going to make it up as I go along. All right, so um, don't forget, turn your clocks ahead, everybody. That is the most important tip of the day, to turn your clocks ahead, all right? Don't forget to do that. You know, we got the mayor of Dover on his way down here, um, and his name is Robin Christensen, a good guy, going to be joining me after 8.30. We're going to chit-chat about some different things, and um, he's always a wealth of information, very friendly, good family man and a good mayor and um he's keeping dover growing and rocking and rolling so is guada coming down or what's she doing she doesn't have to brush her teeth first she tell her to brush her teeth denise have a seat young lady we have 20 questions for you all right okay all right denise are you gonna take a picture of us all right here we go Just in case either one of us are ever wanted all right, Guada, how you doing? All right. Well, Talk right into the mic. Is it raining out? Very much. How was your ride over? Or did you come up? Or which way did you come from? Uh, route 9. Route 9. Lewis. Okay, everything okay? It was, uh, it was raining, but raining. it's okay. Yeah. Is it a wet rain? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. All right, just it's checking. It's worth it, though. It's Happy worth birthday. It. Well, thank you. I'm glad you came. Yeah. How's Brad acting today? He's right there. <laughs> All right. Is he acting okay? Yeah. Okay. Who drove? He did. He did. Is he a good driver? He's a good driver. I'm okay. a bad driver. Are you really? Yeah. All right. And so anyway, how long have you two been together? Doing good. Huh? How good. long have you oh, two been we, together? Oh, 22 years. 22 years. Wow. Wow. And Brad likes to bicycle. Yes, Is that what it's called? Yeah, he did okay. yesterday. Really? A long ride? Yeah. How long? I think 24, 25 <sighs> miles. But the... Uh, who rides a bike that far? He does. He loves like, it, doesn't he? He will do like 60 miles, I think. <laughs> no kidding. Yes. Wow. Now, how long, how far have you rode a bicycle? Uh, one time I rode from our house to Rehoboth and back. That okay. was the longest. That was it? That was it. 20 okay. miles and... Too much fun. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, not <laughs> okay. like, I'm not like him. He's, uh, okay. he's a pro. He's a pro. Yeah. Now, do you notice Linda's not here today? I heard that. The show is not the same, is it? <laughs> but you have Denise. She's, she's panicking awesome Denise. over there. She's yeah. doing good, though. Yeah. Where are they? In Georgia, you said? Well, um, was it Mississippi, I think? Yeah. Yeah. The good thing is we can listen to you wherever we are. Like, right. Like, we were able to hear you in Texas. That's right. You called in. Yes. Wow. Yeah. We just have to wake up a little bit early on sun Saturday. For that in Texas. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Denise and I went to Texas one time. We flew there, and we rented a car. Oh, uh, yeah. And as we were going down this big highway, we noticed it talked about tolls, but we never saw a toll booth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was thinking, where am I paying the, when do I pay these tolls? But it had to do, it was all factored into the rental car. Yes. I just yeah. got a bill actually because um, we stopped and, you know, like a cash area. Okay. And there was nobody. Right. So. <laughs> That's what we experienced. Yeah. Like they were telling me about the tolls, yes. but I didn't know how to pay them. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And then I have like, uh, I think it's nine dollars or something. Wow. All yeah. right. Yeah. So. And um, what do you do? You eat here on Saturdays? Do you get uh -huh. food? Yeah. We just we just ordered. What the, kind of? What do you normally get to eat? I normally get their bacon and eggs. 
Isn't their bacon really good? Oh, it's awesome. And their rye bread, and Brad loves their omelet. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming over today. Oh, yeah. We could okay. miss your birthday. Well, thank you. Even though Can Brad I... wanted to go to... Uh... Another bike ride? <laughs> Where did Brad want to go? Shinkatig. Shinkatig. Well, I you're said, on your way. We, we, can't miss, we can't miss Jim's birthday. Two gift cards to Vanderwins, okay? Thank you. Do you need any of these keychains? Have you got uh, any? I actually have, have, I have two, both of my cars. All right. Do you need any more? Uh, I can use one more. I'm going to give you one more then, okay? <laughs> thank all you. right. Well, thanks for coming and talking with thank me, all right? You. All right. There she goes. Very happy young lady. Very happy. All right. So we are taking phone calls if you want to call in. And uh, if you have not liked my page, Weller Does Del Marva, I'd appreciate it if you like it too. Denise, I'm going to surprise you with something. Will you want to come talk to me for a couple minutes? All right. Here she comes. She's like, man, you got to tell me before I leave the house if you're going to bring me on the show. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Happy birthday. Thanks a lot. And uh, we got a big day planned. We do. We started last night with some crabs. Yeah. Extra large. Extra large crabs. First and they the were season. really good, and that was good. Jenny stopped by with some cheesy bread. <laughs> yeah. That was quite a surprise. That was a surprise. Wasn't it? Yeah. So um, anyway, so everybody's coming over, and we're going to have a little birthday party, and uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So. I actually had ordered you something very special for your birthday. No kidding. I know. and I Is it a wig? No. A hairpiece? I really wish it had come in. Oh, but my. it has not come in. Well, tell us about it next week. Okay. All is right. that all right? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. It, what color it is be, it? It may be longer than next week. Cause oh, it's, really? It's a special order, and I only ordered it last week. Is this a stand-up of me? <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> you're so hard to buy for. Oh, I am oh, not. you're terrible to buy for. Can we take a phone call? Yeah. All right. Caller, are you there? Yeah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. How you doing? All right. Who am I talking to? This is Terry. Terry, how's Terry? Yeah, I wish, I wish you a happy birthday. Now, what is something that you've learned from this show? Oh, no. Lots of, lots of good stuff that you do. Okay. <laughs> Have you learned how to eat ice cream? Oh, yeah, definitely good ice cream. Well, good. Ice cream. You like it? Yeah. All right, you want me to put three gift cards aside for you? Uh, sure, sure. I try to get quite as quick as I can. All right. All right. Don't forget, we're closed Mondays, okay? All right, I'll stop better to the two to be proved before Friday, Jeff. All right. Well, have a good day, right. Terry. Be safe, you. okay? Bye bye. bye. Greg That's Terry for picture. Seaford. Greg is taking our picture. Yes, oh, that'd be nice. I would like a copy of that. Yes, sir. And happy birthday to you, too. I said it a day early. You had it up on your billboard so early. Yeah. Well, you know, that surprised me. I got your message, and thank you. I was out to a breakfast club. And oh, saw it on the billboard. Yeah, we're to okay. Wow. Yeah, I, said, happy I had an argument with a gentleman who said he saw it on my billboard. I said, it is not, I don't know anything about this. Jackie, who works for me, and thank you, Jackie, put yeah. it up there as a surprise. It was a surprise. It was a it surprise. Was a really and when I got your message, I was like, what is, what's happening in the middle of the week that people would know this? And the billboard wasn't working right on Monday or Tuesday. And we called Roger Signs, and they come right out and rebooted it or reset it. And that's why it mattered, I think, because Jackie was like, I want to get that billboard working. So she did a good job. She it picked was a, a great picture. Yeah, I mean, it, you are big and bold up there, you know? There's no a big, fat, bald head. Um, <laughs> I thought it's a good picture. So go by the billboard in Ellendale. I couldn't take a picture of it. My phone didn't work right or whatever. But anyway, um, take, take, a, take a look at my billboard in Ellendale and um, see what it looks like. So you got a present order. Please don't tell me now, okay? I okay, like surprises. But it's for the show. You'll love it. <gasps> Oh, You'll my gosh, it's it. for the show. I just wish I had thought about it sooner. Okay, well, that's okay. Okay. We're going to forgive you. We're, we'll I love gifts. Okay. <laughs> okay. I do, everybody. Just, yes. I'm a 2X, and uh, any size gift card would be fine. No, I'm oh, just kidding. God. I don't need a thing. I really don't, and I am hard to buy for. I did tell one of our daughters a gift idea. A pair of scissors. No, I told you that one. Okay. Well, I need a pair of scissors for my office. Yeah. I broke them somehow. I told Kim I would like a pack of Twizzlers. 
There you go. I've been I've run a little dry on Twizzlers, and so I wouldn't mind. Remember the Whoopers, little malt balls, yes, you know, and yes. a little bit of everything. You get so. hooked on things just for a while. For a while. Then. You remember the fortune cookies? I bought them by the oh, case. My goodness. Thousands of them, individually wrapped fortune cookies. I love them things. Now what am I hooked on? Uh, the little mini Chips Ahoy. And, yes, and um, those cookies from down Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. Yeah, whatever they are. So, yes, I have some strange. Man, when I get hooked, I'm hooked too. I'm buying it by the case, you know? Bubble gum. I remember the bubble Oh, that gum. bubble gum. Was it bazooka bubble gum? I can't remember. No, nah, I don't know what it was, but it was. It lost its taste so quick. I mean, I could eat 40 pieces. What was it? <laughs> double bubble or something. I'm buying that by the case, you know? So, um, I have some. Uniqueness, Jim. Uniqueness. Very unique. Uniqueness. Um, we were reminiscing a lot last night. You know, we have really been together a long time. We have. Like you almost know? forever. Yeah. When were, were we 15 when we met? Yeah, I was 14. You were 14. Oh, I was 15. 15. Mm-hmm. She's never regretted it, have no, you? We, <laughs> we have not regretted it. <laughs> uh, we? Now you're throwing me in there, too? <laughs> I said, you haven't regretted it. No, I haven't regretted it. it. We get along pretty good, don't we? I think so. We tolerate each other well. It's like a long stress test. Yeah. You know, but we're getting through it, huh? Yeah, we let each other be. Who we are. Who we are. Right. So, anyway, as long as you let me buy whatever I want, I'm happy. (laughs) That is our our biggest argument. Two things. I gave up trying to control you on that. Buying things and borrowing money. Yeah. Oh, she hates it when she has to sign a loan paper. She says, can we drive separate? Yeah. She likes to walk in, sign it, and get out of the room. Yeah. Is that about right? Yeah. I think most marriages, isn't it oh, either sex or money? Yeah, probably. Okay, let's stay on the money <laughs> conversation. <laughs> this is a family-friendly program, Denise. Okay, sorry. All right. You said it first. Okay. <laughs> All right, so today's a big day. We got everybody coming over. We got church in the morning. Yeah, we're going to pick up a Paula's cake on the way. Oh, yes, he yes. He loves Paula's. Paula's in cake. Greenwood, Delaware. Yeah. I love her cakes, okay? We used to be able to order them like From a Laughlin's week. Bakery. Like a, well, yeah, Laughlin's Bakery goes way. Oh, down. you remember that? Yeah. Ooh, yes, yeah. Laughlin's Bakery. But Anybody remember that? Our daughter found Paula's, which is in yep, Greenwood. Yep, in Greenwood. We used to be able to order them a week beforehand. No, and she's now, busy. Oh, like near holidays, it's like a month before. Right. She, uh, we need to just give yeah. Paula a calendar with all the dates <laughs> that we want a cake. Because we have missed many a birthday. Right. I many sometimes. Because I waited way too right. long. I like a cake for Christmas. I mean, in other words. Yeah. Um, so anyway. They're good cakes. They are good cakes. And I'm happy right. that she has a good business. I'm happy she has a good business too. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No, tomorrow we're going to see Frank Sinatra. <gasps> Frank Sinatra, but it's some other guy's name. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, not, so, real it's not real Frank, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. <laughs> it's at the Clayton Theater. I don't even know if any tickets are left. But anyway, we've got tickets. Yeah. I'm so look it up. Them. I love the Clayton.com and um, see if there's any tickets. Um, some Frank Sinatra impersonators there. Yeah. I remember when Denise met an Elvis impersonator. No. I was playing the role, okay? She, this guy. I was not swooning. She was swooning. (laughs) (laughs) But not for real. I was like. She was. She thought it was Elvis for real. I didn't. I didn't. Come on. All right. I'm just playing. (laughs) Okay. That is Bob Lohe, I think. I forgot his last name. I mean, he, d- he did Elvis well. He did it real good. Right. I mean, he, he's but done I'm it not real good. swooning over anybody, if you want to know. Me? Why. You can keep swooning over me. <laughs> okay, swooning will. and spooning. I'll swoon over and spoon with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I'm going to let you go now. Okay. Is that all right? Or all is right. that all right? I think that's it. We have the mayor coming on, the mayor of Dover. Yes. Man, Dover's really got it going on, don't they? Mm-hmm. Lots of different things. Yeah. He's a nice, happy man. He yeah. is. Yeah. Most of the mayors we've had, honestly, have been just down home, down you know, good earth, people. Real yeah. People like They're not dogs. like the mayors you see on TV. You know what I mean? In the big cities, they're not like that at all. You Maybe know. Maybe a little more stressful job for them, but I don't know what it's like being mayor. But even if the job is stressful, you're supposed to be nice to everybody. That is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you ever asked him what it's like to be a mayor? No, in fact, I want to be mayor for the day. Okay. I wonder if there is such a thing. Oh. All right. Hey, you were, you were, Dan did something for you yesterday. That's right. On all the forever media radio stations, I was uh, 
I forgot it. The person of the day or whatever. It was wonderful. Thank right. you, Dan Gaffney. It was very nice. Forever Media. But I, the different stations, I must have said it because I, I got comments and things from everybody. So yeah. it was Jim Weller Day. Yeah. Jim Weller Day on Delmarva. Yeah. All right, Denise, I am going to let you go. All right. You tell we've, we've Jerry had a good morning. I said hi. Tell Terry. Jerry. Jerry who? Jerry Rhetoric. Oh, Jerry Rhetoric. <laughs> I'll <laughs> I see. You're talking about. I'll see Jerry you. Rhetoric. Hi, Jerry. Happy birthday. Okay. All happy right, birthday. See you, Denise. Yeah. Thank you. All right. We're taking a break from the radio. Listen, if you're listening on the radio, go to TV Del Marva right now or Weller Does Del Marva on Facebook. We're going to talk to Hunter about the weather. Whether or not we should talk about it. We're going to talk to Hunter about the weather. So, TV Del Marva is where it's happening, man. Where it's happening. All right. What in the world is going on, Hunter? It's wet. <laughs> it's wet. It's drizzly. You know, it's not raining in here, though. I like that. Well, that's definitely a good thing. <laughs> if it was, we got a real big problem. We got a real big, we'll need a roofing advertiser. Exactly. So, anyway, what is going on? Have you learned anything since the last time I talked to you? Well, the one thing I have learned is what's coming up, hopefully in the second half of this month, that I have some real big plans with uh, really? TV Demarva, Demarva WX, and as well as a company called Midland USA. I know what it is. Mm -hmm. We're not allowed to talk about it, right? I mean, we can. It's a giveaway, right? It is a giveaway. It's, it's the biggest one yet that I've done. And it's it. a really nice thing you're giving away. Absolutely. Because it's everybody deserves one of these. Everyone should, and I'm trying my best supply. as I can. But yeah, limited supply, because, you know, it does cost money for these kind of devices, right. but they are one of the best life-saving devices you can ever have for, you, for yourself and your family. Wow. All right, so are we? how much more can we talk about it? Oh, we can talk more about it. Like I, I'm not going to tell how much it is, but well, I'm going to explain what it is. So be careful. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> but no, it's, I've done this giveaway before back in 2020, before... Okay. Everything in the world basically has changed. Okay. But with these Midland radios, you get alerts anytime there's like severe thunderstorm warnings, you got a blizzard warning or a tornado warning. And these devices here will set off an alarm if one gets issued. So if you're sleeping, this will wake you up 100%. Really? really? Not half the time that people have their phones on silent or they don't get the warning notifications on their phone because of some issues with the internet cell phone tower or, or internet, yeah. et cetera, like that. These will work all the time. Really? All the time. So it's an emergency alert weather radio. Mm -hmm. And you're going to give them away. Yep, I'm going to give them away. Okay. And there will be some rules and things you have to do to, enter to be a winner. Yeah. It's You're gonna not be just really giving them away. You got it's gonna be real simple. Like it's, okay. it's like a contest giveaway and stuff like that. We'll have all that information iron out here. Later in March soon. or April. This month. This month. This March. month. Yep. Okay. So stay. That's tuned. when I like to do it. Usually in March because it's right at the start of severe weather season. Okay. That's and good like I'm gonna tell you about an actual real world scenario from the last time I did this giveaway. Okay. So I had three to give away in 2020. There was a nice family in Sandtown. Okay. Later on in that season, we had Tropical Storm Isaias. 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 Yes, it is I. That was Mr. the worst. That was the worst pr son. pronunciation of that storm I could ever had. And it's named had. after a person, right? Yeah, it's actually it's named after a person. But anyway, what? What happened in Sandtown during that event? An EF2 tornado went through that town. That weather radio. Alerted them, got them to the, the shelter, and potentially no saved their life. Way. Yep. We need to get them people on the show. I I've lost communication with them, and really? I can't I can't find out who it was. Wow. Which is a shame. This, wow. Well, maybe they're watching. Yeah, they told me in person, not like in a conversation, right, like right. over like text message. And you or never thought to say, "What's your name? What's your number?" Yeah. All right. Yeah. And wow. Thing. Well, good job. So yeah. You... So we got definitely a lot more of them this time around. It's going to be kind of like multi-spam. We're going to do multiple okay. giveaways of them throughout the, the spring season. Wonderful. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. All righty. I did want to ask you a question. If mm -hmm. I gave you two gift cards to Vanderwins. Would you re-gift them or would you use them? I would probably re-gift them. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to challenge you to do that. Is that all right? That is perfectly fine. Okay. I will do that. Now, if you change your mind midstream and use them, it's okay. <laughs> is that all right? Yes, that's fine. All <laughs> thank right. you. All right. Thank you. All right, no problem. See you, Hunter. There he goes. Hunter, check it out. TB Del Mar. It's where it's at, everybody. All right. What else is going on? We're going to come back on the radio in a minute or two. So uh, when we do... Um, I'm going to get the mayor of Dover on, so i got to do one commercial segment once we come back on the radio for Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. We're going to talk about him, then we're going to talk to Mayor Robin Christensen, and then we'll probably take some more phone calls just for the heck of it, all right? Um, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, turn your clocks ahead. It's very important, okay? Turn your clocks ahead. If you don't, you're going to have a real bad start to the day tomorrow if you don't turn your clocks ahead. So turn your clocks ahead tomorrow morning. I do it tonight is what I do. I just turn them ahead tonight. That way my animals and everybody know, you know, don't wake me up any earlier than you have to or make sure I don't oversleep. So are we back on the radio? We're not back on the radio yet. So we're live on TV. How about we do our picture over here just for the heck of it? We have amassed 170,000 pictures that we don't know what we're going to do with someday, but we've got them. So hold tight for a little bit. Let me get back on the radio, and i got to do a couple commercials, and then we're going to chit-chat like crazy. All right, so anyway, I'm here, everybody, and people say, where is here? Here is Laurel, Delaware. We're sitting inside Laurel Junction, and there are people outside with tables full of merchandise, uh, the rain has slowed up a little bit, and there's when the bargains are, okay? Get here on a rainy, windy day, and they're just wanting to get rid of their merchandise and go home. But there's also vendors that are under a roof. There's vendors inside the building. There's vendors all across the front of the building. There's nothing like this place. It's like 25 acres of all kinds of stuff, okay? So it's right here in Laurel, Delaware. It's called Laurel Junction. And then there's a cafe inside, seven days a week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, Chef Fred's Cafe. I heard the music. I seen the sign. Hunter, you're doing a great job. All right, so we're back on the radio, everybody, and uh, we are sitting here in Laurel Junction. I do want to tell you about another sponsor segment, which is Jerry Santoro. Been supporting the show for years, and he's got a Facebook page, and we're trying to get as many people to like his Facebook page as we can. So if you would do it like right now, so you don't forget, it's Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. Okay, and Jerry Santoro does a lot of lot clearing, okay? So he does a lot of lot clearing. He also does tree work. So maybe you've got a tree that's leaning a little bit or a limb's broken off. You just don't know when that thing's going to fall or whatever. He'll get it down for you. He also can dig up the stump. He can grind up the stump, whatever you may want done. He has firewood, seasoned hardwood firewood. He has it all the time. So if you need some firewood, he can deliver it or you could pick it up from him in the Greenwood area. And he also installs irrigation systems. So if you're thinking about one of them, it'd be a good time to talk to Jerry. And another thing he has is mulch, $15 a yard. Now that does not mean your whole yard is only $15. It means a yard of mulch is $15. Best bang for your buck. Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. He's licensed, he's insured, he's honest, He's fair. He does all kinds of things. So if you have a project and you're not sure that he does it, you give him a call. Estimates are free. And uh, his phone number, it's 302-363-6025. Dial it in that order, 363-6025-JLC-LLC.com on the web. Thank you, Jerry Santoro, for your support of the show. And if anybody out there needs him, you give him a call and tell him I sent you. Now, the next person we're going to talk to is the mayor of Dover. Good friend of mine, a good man, Robin Christensen. Mayor Robin Christensen. How you doing? Good morning, Jim. How's everything? Wonderful, but I have to do something before we begin our uh, conversation. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jim Weller. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Wow. That's 
one of the best singing mares I've ever had here. Do you sing in church or anything? Uh, I sing in, in the church. shower. Uh, they they ask me to go in the uh, nursery room when I'm singing, uh, but. Uh, I would say that was pretty good, young man. Father Lantini gives me a bucket so I can carry a tune. <laughs> All right. Do you know this gentleman over here, Greg Fuller? I certainly do. He he's is a, a good man. Isn't he's he? a fine man. He is. He's a good guy. All right. So what is happening in Dover? I see a whole bunch of notes. Well, we had something really exciting happen yesterday at 2.30 at uh, Dover High School. The uh, local fire departments and police department, we gave the... Uh, Dover High School Unified Basketball Team, an escort to uh, Route 1. They went to Newark, and they won the state championship Last for night. the uh, Unified Basketball Congratulations. Championship. Congratulations. For the state of Delaware, they won 23-22. to 22. It was close. Oh my but, goodness. But, uh, and then the fire departments and police department, when they got off at Route 1, gave them an escort back into town as champions of the uh, Unified Basketball. So we, we're really excited about them. They're going to come to council on Monday night, and we're going to recognize each of the individual players. So wow, we're really happy nice. for them. Wow. Well, good job. That was a close game, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Nobody they, was walking away. They uh, they they earned uh, that championship. I would say. Good job. Good job. Dover's producing some good things, aren't they? We've got a lot a lot of great things ha uh, happening in Dover. If you and Colin would show up, it'd be even greater. But uh, we're, 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 I don't want to get your progress. hopes up. We're tired. That's a work in progress. We're tired is the problem with me and Colin. we just got a lot going on. We're just tired. So we'll see. You never know. So you said you wanted to be mayor for a day. Uh -huh. If you come to my office, we always let everybody who comes to my office, all the school kids and visiting dignitaries who show up at my office, they get to be mayor for a minute, so you mayor get to for sit. A minute. You get to sit okay. in my chair. You get a, a, a complimentary coin, and uh, really, we always ask you, "What would you do if you were mayor for a minute?" And you would be really surprised. Over the eight years that I've been mayor of the city of Dover, uh, we've had some kids from Japan, kids from China, and they always uh, come up with great, great, uh, like great what? ideas. What, what, what stick with you? What uh, stuck with you? They would uh, increase our public transportation, okay. housing affordable housing for everyone uh, a lot of the kids uh, really have some heartfelt uh, things that they would do if they were they had the opportunity to be uh, mayor. the mayor which is uh, really exciting because uh, a lot of those things are the same things that I've tried to do and and the council's tried to do to make our city a better place wow. to live so well good um, what is it like being a mayor? Like I do, like you don't have like a secret service group around you. There's not people here protecting you. Uh, my wife's with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, She's my so, security detail. Because you've been the mayor for a long time. Eight years. Eight years. Well, that. I was council president for eleven years. Member of council for eighteen years. Wait, and one, eighteen and eleven. And an and officer in the fire department for a number of years in the seventies, eighties, and nineties. So. so you've always been involved. Public service is something that my mom and dad armed me with. Our family motto is service before self. And wow. my sons and my daughters have also picked that up, as well as my grandchildren. We're my grandsons joined the fire department about two years ago, and they become the fifth generation. Of Christensen's as volunteer firefighters. Really? Yeah. Oh, so wonderful. I'm really, really proud of that. And one day uh, before I had my knee replaced, my son, myself, and my grandsons actually rode out on the, the same engine together. Oh, really? Responding to something? Yeah. Wow. It's a good thing it wasn't yeah. anything because it was having trouble with my knee. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, good. Well, they were there for you. Isn't that nice, though, to see all that? They say you teach what you know but you reproduce what you are. And, and I would say, you know, you and your wife have really... I have really some daughters that job. are school teachers, and uh, right, they've, take, wife's a teacher. they've taken after their mom, so... Uh, good uh, job. Public service is in our blood. Yeah, well, good job. Well, I'm thankful to know you, and I'm thankful for the good job you've done with Dover. Well, I'm glad you let me come down and have a great breakfast and talk to you. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of great things going on in Dover, if I could talk sure. about those real quick. Next Saturday, we're going to have our St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, at 1 o'clock. Uh, we're also having a...
pet parade for St. Patrick's Day. Really? And the St. Patrick's Dogs Day and Festival. Cats Dog. and parakeets and yep, as long as they're dressed in green, they get to walk down <laughs> Lockerman Street. Okay. We've got our next. Have you had a pet parade before? Never. This is the first time. First really? Time. Yep. So we're really excited about that. What and, goes first, the pet parade or the parade? Uh, well, St. Patrick is going to lead the parade. It'll okay. be the regular parade interspersed with the pet parade oh really yes we we don't discriminate we love our <laughs> everybody pets. we all know that our pets are in charge there's no doubt i no. do that at four o'clock this morning so we've got a nascar race coming up uh yeah. in april um it's going to be a big event right that next weekend we're going to have our dover days festival okay and we have our a big bang july 4th celebration coming up wow. it's going to be bigger and better than ever because we've been locked down and couldn't right. congregate another great event on july 9th is going to be the 100th anniversary celebration of the delaware volunteer firemen's association and we're going to have an antique fire muster or flea market and a big parade at one o'clock in downtown dover and and that's celebrating 100 years of volunteer fire service in the wow. state of delaware and then we're going to have um our veterans stand down. Uh, I know Greg Fuller works with veterans. Uh, we have a whole day of, of uh, services and events and, and meals for veterans at our Shooty Park complex on the west side of Dover. Uh, and uh, the Delaware Veterans Commission is involved in that. And then, of course, we're going to have our Home for the Holiday celebration, which we're planning for right now with our electric light parade on okay. Saturday evening right after we light our, our Christmas tree in downtown Dover. So the pandemic is over, thank goodness. And you're and making up for lost time. And hopefully we're going to be able to get people out and together again, doing what they should have been doing all along. Right. So is this all listed on a Facebook page or a website? A or? lot of it is on my Facebook page, but we also have the City of Dover website that you can go to, and all these events are listed. The Chamber of Commerce, Central Delaware Chamber of Commerce, puts these events on their website, as well as the Downtown Dover Partnership. And your Facebook page is Mayor Robin Christensen? Yes, sir. Okay. And people can like that page? Yes, sir. And uh, please continue to like it. <laughs> okay, just continue to like it. I might Keep... want to run again. <laughs> okay, when would you run again? Uh, I'm up for election in April of 2023. Okay, next year. All right. And, um, well, I, I, am, I feel it an honor to know you. I think you're a really good guy, and I think you've done a really good job for Dover. You well, I've always liked you for a great, uh, a great long time. I listen to you every time you're on the radio. I listen for your commercials. I blow my horn every time I go by your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your, uh, your business and uh, we seriously would like you to move there but I understand your right. business has grown in Bridgeville and uh, so my, my son-in-law future son-in-law who's going to graduate from the Delaware State Police Academy this Thursday bought a trailer from you and I said wow. why didn't you take me with you you know right. you, you might have gotten some special treatment that's right but the irony of it is I wasn't with him and he still got treated specially well good and he's going to be a Delaware State Trooper oh uh, no 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 City Dover Police. No, no, no. Okay. He's going to be a Cheswold Town Police Officer. Is he really? Yes. Wow. Yes. I, I had, uh, he had the opportunity to be part of one of the best police forces in the state of Delaware, and he chose to, uh, <laughs> he chose to. Yeah, you're alluding to Dover Police. Right. And uh, he, he, went, he chose to, uh, Cheswold called him the day before Dover PD called him. So. No kidding. So, uh Thursday, he graduates from the academy. He becomes a Cheswell police officer, and he gets one bullet. So that's wow, <laughs> one bullet, like Barney Fife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. He's a, he's a good guy, and my my youngest daughter loves him. And uh, if I can get her married off, then Cindy and I can, you know, uh, remodel the house and have another craft well, we've, room. We've already remodeled the house, <laughs> but uh, we can do some stuff for us. Well, good. Well, what would the mayor of Dover do? If he had more time, I'd address more quickly a lot of the issues that the city of Dover faces. Oh, really? And uh, one of the issues that we've been looking at is, is because uh, CBS decided to tell everybody about the vulnerability of the PGM grid, which provides electricity for all of the East Coast. Okay. I have a major electricity user that's part of the. National Defense System, that's Dover Air Force Base. Oh, yeah. So most of the week we've been working on making sure 
that that electric that we provide them as a, as a separate entity uh, is safe and sound. And I can't go into a lot of detail, but okay. that's that's one of the things I've been working on on this week. And so some of the other things that are really just as important have Slid gone over into the other pile there. But uh, I call that pivoting. You have to pivot. Well, the the ladies in my office give me folders, and uh, they have them in priority. The red ones get addressed first. Uh, the blue ones are next, and the white folders are, you know, we'll get to them when we get to them. Okay. But we try to get to all the issues that we have to do. Um, it's a lot of responsibility. I take it very seriously, and, uh, you know, I hope that the citizens of Dover um, know that we look out for them every day because— uh, as an elected fish, official, full-time elected official, the rest of the council are part-timers. Uh, I'm the voice for the people that need a voice at City Hall every day. Wow. Well, the town is growing. There we is stuff in, happening all the time. We are indeed. Know. And uh, we're getting three or four new restaurants, and we every day we are talking to businesses that we want to come to Dover to be part of the great adventure. And uh, it's to me, it's a great adventure being the right. capital of the uh, the first state that started a nation. And mm -hmm. and I can't believe some mornings that I get up and look in the mirror while I'm shaving that I actually get to be the mayor of, right. uh, of one of the greatest cities in the country. So you go to your office every day? Every day. And you got people come in and have meetings with you and stuff like oh, that? Oh, yes. And uh, the ladies in my office, uh, my chief of staff and my uh, admin, they tell me where I'm supposed to go. And some days I think because... <laughs> Uh, I come in cranky some days or I'm in a fluster. They'd like to tell me where to go. But, <laughs> but they're very wow. nice. But they, they do nice. a great job. Uh, my wife administers everything I'm supposed to do at home. Okay. Tells me what to do. And uh, so they keep me on track. And it, it's a fun job. The days go quickly. And uh, we get to, to do a lot of great things some days. Uh, we're successful. Other days we're not. But at least we've tried. You're on duty anyway. Yes, sir. Do you drive yourself or do you have a driver? I drive myself. Drive yourself, okay. Which right. is scary because people know to keep off the sidewalk when they see me coming. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go if that's okay. Yes, sir. I do want to ask, have I given you any of these keychains yet? Yes, sir. Do you need any more? I could certainly use a couple more because okay. uh, people would like them. Okay. Well, I'll give you a couple more. That's a Weller's and then a Weller does Delmarva. Thank you, sir. And I don't know if I've ever asked, do you eat ice cream? Like, can a man from Dover eat Vanderwins in Greenwood? Yes, sir, because it, uh, you know, allows me to get out of town for okay. a few minutes and take my grandchildren with me and, you know, let them have some ice cream. All right. Do you know what my favorite ice cream is? What favorite okay. flavor no. of ice cream it is? Ice cream. Ice cream. What do you, oh, because it's everything. <laughs> You like it all. Yes, sir. All right. Have I ever Except given you a bars. flashlight? No, but I could use one of those. Man, this is pretty cool. It even comes with batteries. I'm loading him up, ain't I? All right. Can I come back next week and get some more? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming today, okay? Thanks, Mr. Jones. Thanks for singing for me. Well, That was wonderful. I want you to know I don't do that for everyone. Okay. I appreciate it. Next week, I'll be appearing at the Dover <laughs> Capital City Rotary. <laughs> And Phyllis Amato, who plays the accordion, right? I will be singing Irish ditties for my Rotary Club. Really? Yes, sir. Wow, all right. Tora Laura Laura and <laughs> really? Irish Eyes are You must like singing. All right, don't forget your notes. Thanks, sir. All right, see you. Thanks see a lot. You. Mayor Robin Christensen from Dover, Delaware. What a great guy. You know what I mean? You talk about politics and politicians and things like that. He doesn't, he doesn't seem like your typical politician. He's just a good guy. I'm very happy to have him on. We've had a good day here, everybody. It is my birthday, so thank you, everybody, for texting me, calling in, sending me a message, um, and so on and so forth. Do not forget to turn your clocks ahead. Don't forget. Denise, don't let me forget. And I just want to brag on Chick-fil-A real quick. You hear me talk about them every week. In fact, we'll give a few Chick-fil-A gift cards away. But here's the deal. <clears throat> Chick-fil-A is a good local company, okay? So they're nationwide, but, you know, I'm supported. They're a sponsor of the show by some local Chick-fil-A's, and I appreciate their support. And I got my little sign up here today that says, I love Chick-fil-A, and I do. People say, what in the world do I like at Chick-fil-A? I like them little nuggets. 
I like the number one sandwich. I like the waffle fries. I like their Chick-fil-A sauce. I like it so much. I bought a big container of it, okay? And, I mean, they've been in business for years, and I just discovered the Chick-fil-A sauce in the past 90 days. And I love it. So, anyway, um, so whether the line's long or not when you get there, be patient. They move through people quickly. Most of them are open now where you can go inside. They also are connected to DoorDash if you want to get it delivered. So it's Chick-fil-A. I love them. You'll like them. And now it's time to give away gift cards to Chick-fil-A, all right? So you're going to get one gift card to Chick-fil-A. One Chick-fil-A gift card, all right? And all you got to do, we're going to do them fast. Just one call after another. I'm going to set it aside at Weller's in Bridgeville. I think it's worth about $8. I'm going to get you the number one meal or the eight count uh, nugget meal. So you get the waffle fries, the drink, and the eight count nugget or the waffle fries, the drink, and the number one sandwich, okay? Um, you get that for free. You're going to get one of them. And uh, you pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville Tuesday through Saturday next week. Call me now. I'm just going to write your name down. You stop by and pick it up, and you're on your way to Chick-fil-A, all right? Everybody ready? 302-422-7336. 422-7336. One Chick-fil-A gift card is what you're calling for. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm right here. How are you? Good. And who am I speaking to? Lou from Bridgeville. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. And are you a Chick-fil-A fan? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wife right. wife loves it. Well, good. Well, we're going to set a gift card aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. Is that okay? That's fine. Catch you there. All right. See you, Lou. Bye. Right, bye. Bye. All right, everybody. So if you'd like a gift card to Chick-fil-A, it's that simple. Call in right now. No purchase necessary. And uh, we'll give you one, and you can go on to Chick-fil-A, and uh, you get one for free, and maybe you'll buy one, you know, for whoever else is with you or for yourself. So anyway, if you want a gift card to Chick-fil-A, whether you're watching on TV, radio, Facebook, YouTube, or whatever, give me a call, 302-422-7336. Was that another phone call? Caller, are you there? Hey, I'm here. And who am I talking to? Talking to Rick from uh, Harrington. Rick? From Harrington, okay. Would you like a gift card to Chick Fil A? Hey man, absolutely. They're awesome. And uh, where do you go? Like from Harrington, what Chick Fil A do you go to? I probably go up to the one at Camden more often than not. Okay. And what do you like there? I like their spicy chicken sandwich. Spicy I think chicken. It's number two. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm going to set you a gift card aside at Weller's in Bridgeville. It won't be there till Tuesday, Tuesday through Saturday. You can pick it up and go to Chick-fil-A or give it away, okay? Hey, Roger, that, man. I appreciate it. Happy birthday. Thank you, Rick. Take care. All right. See you. Bye. All right. So it's that simple. i got a couple more. If anybody wants one, just give me a call, 302-422-7336, and I'll give you a gift card to Chick-fil-A, and uh, you got a while to use it. It says... Good at Millsboro on the back, but you can use it at any Chick-fil-A for sure, okay? So anyway, that's that. Don't forget to set your clocks ahead. We've had a good show. Today is my birthday. I'm very excited. And Denise has a present that's coming in next week or the next week. Boy, she's got me all excited. Caller, are you there? Yes. And Denise and I'd like to get a Chick-fil-A gift card. And who am I talking to? Joanne Young. Joanne, how are you doing today? Just fine. Happy birthday. Thank you. And what Chick-fil-A do you go to? Milford. Milford. And what do you like there? The chicken nuggets. The chicken nuggets. Well, you're going to get eight of them and the waffle fries and a drink for free, okay? Thank you very much. Yep. Pick it up at Weller's next week, all right? Okay, I will. See you, Joanne. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 She calls in every now and then. She's a nice lady. She's been to some of our remote broadcasts. So if you're out there and you're listening and you want a Chick-fil-A gift card, all you do is do that. Give me a call. I'll set one aside. Pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Caller, are Hello. you there? Turn, turn your volume down. Turn your volume down on the radio. I am. I okay. am. Gotcha. All right. Who am I talking to? Uh, Susan from Lewis. We Susan. bought a carport from you pe uh, people. From us people, okay. Have you got yeah, it yet? From Wellers. Did What's you, that? Did you get it yet? Yes, they oh. installed it um, last December. Well, good. Well, thank you, Susan. <laughs> we were the last ones to get installed. Well, they're now about 8 to 12 months out, to be honest with you. But thank you for getting it. And uh, are you a Chick-fil-A eater? 
Yes, I am. And what I, chick? I, 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 we're ahead of us. I eat it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna you got to come to Weller's to get it, but um, we'll gladly yeah. give you a gift card, and uh, you can go over there or anywhere and use it. Okay. Okay. Sounds what, great. What do you like at Chick Fil A? Um, I like the fries. The, waffle the fries. fries really. Well, there you go. All well, right. I usually stop there, and then I go to um, Arby's. What's that? So I, I help everybody out down here. Let's just say it loud. <laughs> Come on and sit down. I don't know what it was. But anyway, um, I can't hear her when she talks. It's the only thing. All right, what do you got? This is um, Greg What's Fuller, that? real quick. Okay, well, Susan, I got you written down, and I'm going to let you go, okay? We're, okay, happy birthday The show birthday is ending. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, Greg Fuller. I just picked up a, I heard... Uh, the lovely wife Denise saying that y'all were going to go see Frank Sinatra. So right. I pulled up once some lyrics here, and I was going to sing it for the two of you for All your right. birthday. Okay, do, do you it. Mind? No, I don't mind. <coughs> All we're right, gonna, uh, we might get cut off, but you go good ahead. Good enough, Greg Fuller. The summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. It lingered there. So warm and fair to walk with me all summer long. We sang a song and then we strolled on golden sands to people in love and the summer wind. Wow. Happy birthday, my How buddy. thoughtful. Happy birthday, Thank you my very friend. Much. That was Happy wonderful. Birthday. That was wonderful. Wow. That was he just looked it up and come and sung it. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. I hear the music. We're out of time. Thank you, Lawrence. Now they're playing Happy Birthday on the radio. Are you doing that? They're doing it. Thank you, Lawrence, very much. All right, everybody. So we're done. We'll see you next Saturday. All right. Now we're wrapping up on the TV, Delmarva. And do not forget, if you want to chat with Colin and talk about some advertising opportunities, they have them. Okay. I've been advertising, very happy with them, and you will be too. So give Colin a call, 302-242-8015, 242-8015. God bless you all. Thank you, everybody. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye.